Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here. Welcome back to another Elden Ring invasion stream. Hello everyone, hello. What's up? Hello Brain, uh, Niall, what's up? Or Nil, Weekend, hello. Artor Artorius, what's up man? How goes your day? There we go, I got that all set up. Yeah, I decided to use the strength build that we used a couple days ago because I was having so much fun with it before we move on to any of my newer build making. Uh, I wanted to do 140. We tried 138 last time. So maybe we'll see how the 140 range treats us. It's not too different, but I want to see how active uh, 140 is compared to like 125 and 150. Trying out this level today. Uh, there's the stats on the right, and here's all the weapons that I plan to use. A little different. I added some curve swords to this. I don't really use curve swords much, but we'll see how they do. And the Beastman's Cleaver I haven't been using a lot, but we'll try that out. Uh, fist weapons I have used in the past, but they're not my favorite, to be honest. You can put some decent Ash of Ores on them and they might be okay, but uh, with the passive poise and the fact that they don't do much poise damage, I feel like a lot of people just tank through it. They're pretty good for, I guess, finished chase downs. Uh, maybe I don't know where we're going to get invasions at 140, so we're going to try all over the place today. Uh, I wanted to try the Mistwood first to see if it works. I don't get invasions in Limgrave much. Why 20? Uh, Summer 25, Mate or Mateo. I just don't have, like, see? Summer 25, I just don't have enough stones to make all my weapons 25. So we're uh, putting them on the ones that I use the most. The others are 24. Hey, what's up, Lorenzo? How goes your day, man? Um, you know, we 100% we get invasions here, though. We, maybe we'll start off in Noxtella just to warm up a bit. Uh, I don't know my overall hours. I'd have to look at Steam. I think this character has like 90, though. Something like that. 70 or 80. I have a couple characters, though. Hey, what's up, Achilles? Thank you, guys. Uh, well, I don't have all these different builds are chaos. I have like three different characters. So I have my playthrough one that I made, then I, I created a Vagabond, and then I ran a wizard through the game. So in like a month and a half, almost two months, I only made three characters. Uh, hello, Elise. You're just able to reallocate with the larval tiers. There's like 15 in a playthrough or something. So you can make a lot of builds out of those characters. Oh, they're down below. Okay. Horaloo. I do have that on my... Great sword, yes. I do have the Horrorly Earthshaker. Uh, what did I do? I think I started Strength in my first playthrough, and then I went... I reallocated to Dex Int, because I found so many weapons that were Dexterity Intelligence in comparison. Yeah, yeah. So y you want to use the Larval Tears to try out a bunch, and then maybe when you decide on which build you like the most, go for that as, like, the final build product of that character. There we go. Um... <laughs> I just, I sense it. This elevator is becoming a very prominent spot for people to ambush you with like three rivers of blood and a dragon. It's like, you can kind of sense it coming. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's so not, it's as if that was my first invasion too. Oh, my R1 just didn't come out. Very strange. Hello there. Oh, there goes the host. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll take it. Can I get a backstab in the meantime of that explosion? No, I guess not, huh? <laughs> I kind of assumed when I saw the icon was near the elevator. Uh, so for strength builds, are fire infusion still best? So it really depends on where you're invading, I guess I should say. Because if you're standing in water, your fire damage is lower. Um, and if it's raining, your fire damage is lower. So like while fire infusions can get a little bit of a higher AR than physical, I, I kind of prefer physical. You can buff them with like the, the drawstring buffs and you're not really lacking if you decide to invade in a water area. Otherwise, yeah, your, your fire build is kind of nerfed from the water. <laughs> yes, please, <laughs> rivers of blood and wizards. <laughs> Always fun. Uh, you can use the tiers though, like the Physic tiers, to buff your fire damage. So I guess at the same time, it can be very powerful. It just, it can also get nerfed if it's raining or there's water nearby, right? So, the same way that lightning can get buffed. There's no buff to like fire or ice damage, is there? Like no environmental buff? I think it's really just for lightning, which is interesting. Yeah, Wiko, for sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go everywhere today, see where 140 gets. 
You like the Horaloo because ah, oh, we could try some Horaloo depending on what I'm fighting. Um, you know what? I want to see if I eat an Exalted Flesh, how much more damage it'll do. Instead of going the route of going high defense. Do I not have bombs equipped? Hello? Hey. So, okay. I, I, I see the tombstone. Okay. Are we gesturing? I would have gestured with you, but I'm a little slow. And yo, Cliff, thank you so much, man. Thank you, man. Let's try this. Ah, that stuns me out of it. <laughs> okay. So, probably not the best to do against Rivers of Blood, just because you're stuck there a very long time. So anything that involves being stuck in one location, not the best against that. Oh, this thing's bleed a lot though. Actually, I forget this area. I've only been to Mogwin's Palace a few times. I never like invade here. Actually, what's a really interesting weapon? Oh, I wanted to try Storm Stomp with this. Oh, he saved his teammate. That was kind of good. Let's get our buff going. Yo, Cliff, thank you again, man. So there's a blue chilling in the back. Not sure what his uh, thought process is here. Jeez, that has so much more range than I think when I try to space it. Gonna have to put more work into that. Okay, well. <laughs> I want him to Rivers of Blood because I know how to space the beginning part perfectly. Yeah. Then I'm kind of chilling after that. <laughs> uh, let's see. This one has... You know, we can get a true combo to this. Get at him, boys. Oh, I, was that a stamina? I couldn't roll there for some reason. Hmm. Alright, Rivers of Blood, brother. <laughs> I like how he's chilling in the bag. Okay, maybe we'll use Pebble to get rid of them. I found the Pebble wanted to be one of the better ways to deal with... Oh, the blue just died. Okay, well, I'll take that for Estus, I guess. Yeah, because that has the range of, like, Rivers of Blood, but it stuns them, so... Definitely one of the better choices. Ah, uh, every time I do that... <laughs> I go to, like, guard to run up quick, and I punch instead. Whee! This is always a good combo. <laughs> People just fall for it. Uh, Giant Hunt does. They were just a little far when I was hitting them with the poke. So uh, they were like at the tip of my sword. I have to be a little bit closer for that to work. Cliff, though, thank you for the membership, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'll join 140. Been struggling at 133. Yeah, 140 seems to be very active. Well, at least for my test here. Uh, let's go try somewhere random. The Nameless City. City. I've never seen a Rivers of Blood user use, like, any other button. Yeah, it's got a good running attack, though. They could use the running attack and then combo into the L2, but most of them do L2. I didn't even know if the blue was there or not until he jumped off. He was like, nah, <laughs> not down for 3v1s, I guess. Yeah, I mean, 140 invades up to, like, one... I don't know, 70-something, so... At 140, you're still going to fight someone who's at level 150. I actually... Yeah, I guess... I don't know. I, I'd rather be close, to be honest. If I was going to parry a Rivers of Blood, I'd rather just like run up and just go close for the like the third parry on the second L2 part, you know? Oh, um, wait. Do that, yeah. Yo, Wheezy. Thank you, man. Yeah, my streams are always like 5-ish Eastern time to like 9-ish around there. Okay, that's not... So, I don't know. 138 was pretty active. Uh, trying out some of the areas, I think New Game Plus might have people. Oh, is it nil? Is it done the same way? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, well, you have to, I always had to move around a lot in Invasion. Unless you're, like, level 80, which, like, pretty much gets everywhere in the map, you kind of have to move around to find people because people go into New Game Plus and then they move in random areas. Like, you don't know where they're going to go. So I, I jump around. 
Ah, Triton, for me it was. Last stream for me, man, like I didn't wait a, like a second for an invasion at 80. It was instant if you go like watch the stream. It was quick as hell. <laughs> Carrion Manor, huh? Hmm. Yeah, Fabian, yeah, I think honestly if you're looking for invasion activity, 80 is optimal. 80 plus 6 or plus 7 somber, probably. I don't know what console you're on though. For me, I'm on PC and yeah, yesterday it was perfect. I think it was instant. We could try Carrion Manor, you said? Okay. This is an interesting area actually. I really like strength. I do. Not that it's like the best or anything. I just find strength to be the most interesting. Okay, I'm just going to go back to Noxtel. It usually gets me instant. We go where it's for sure. Hmm. Or we can go to yeah the Halig Tree and Crumbling Azuli if this doesn't work. Yeah, let's go to let's go to Halig Tree. Yeah, I think Prayer Room gets one of the best. What about outside of Melania? I think Melania's area could be interesting. Or will they just go into the boss room? Yeah, it's not cross-platform, sadly. I wish it was. Hey, the activity would be crazy if it was. Your favorite build so far has been pure strength with the greatsword. It's just a lot of fun. I like melee as well. Melee builds have always been my way. They just go into the room if you invade near Melania. Yeah, I kind of thought. Ha! Ha! Ha ha That's pretty funny. Get ducked. Uh, oh yeah, okay, that's so weird. Whenever there's a prompt, you can't, like, attack. There we go. I am on PC, indeed. Indeed, I am. Shaded Castle, I do like the shade. Uh, you can go there, maybe. Next. Before the the hidden Halig tree part. Oh, this is an interesting spawn point. I'll take this. Uh, they're in there, huh? I don't think I can make that jump. <laughs> Maybe. Can you? I think that's the only way to get over there, though. Man, I, I misjudge jumps like speeds, but uh, I'm doing it. Okay, we can. Hello there, boys. <laughs> My teammate has immunity and I just leave him a backstabbed enemy. That's hilarious. <laughs> Go get him, brother. <laughs> Actually hilarious teamwork. This guy's just standing, spawning in, getting like comboed. My god. They didn't even let him spawn in. Yeah, you can, yeah. Well, that was fast. What about another part of the Halic Tree? What about like drainage channel? No, that's the water area before the swamps. This is definitely one of the best parts. It's huge, so. Why am I not? Oh, I'm wearing this. <laughs> I uh, I put on the, the trick mirror so I can be host color because I, like I like seeing the gold of the Melania helm. Looks better. You don't need to do that. If you did my build, you can uh, use any other ring. I'm just doing that for fashion. Yo, Pinoy! Thank you so much! <laughs> okay, let's... I guess we get one and we'll go somewhere else. What about... What'd you say? Castle Soul? Or you said Shaded Castle. And also, I wonder if... I don't know. Mogwin Palace area is really cool. That got me an instant invasion. Let's try that again. Chase the chat at it again with the STR build I see. Hell yeah. <laughs> Strength day. Uh, you want me to go to the second one of the Halic Tree? Alright, if I don't get one here, we'll go there. Sacrificing a ring for fashion? Ew. Hey. <laughs> if I need it, I can swap it off. I'm not locked in. I can just be like, oop, like something I need, you know. It's fine. Which one is the se the second one to you guys of the Alec tree? Like, um, 
Like Halig Tree Town? Or do you mean like Prayer Room? Noxtella is usually super good. For some reason, I wasn't getting one in Noxtella today though. But I'm gonna, I'll go back there. It's like one of my favorites and usually the most active. Even when I was like 138, 80, like it's, it's usually active everywhere. You are locked in. <laughs> kind of fair. I mean, if I feel like I need it, I'll pop it on, but I think we should be good. Uh, which one has determination? The other one. And then I still wanted to try this. This seems decent with Storm Stomp because you can R2 with it. Yo, Josh, thank you so much, man. Fashion Souls is the way. Let's be real. So far, I, what I know I like a lot, Melania Helm and the Bloody Wolf Helm. Hello there. Like you did. Maybe not. Depends on how much the wizard spams right now. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're gonna have to break him with the ice then. I just wanted to see how Stomp did versus uh, that shield. So wizard camping there. Does that go through the graves? It does. It seems like it. High level mage tree. Oh, this might be a good time for if he stays out there. Yeah. Uh, and that guy can fire that a lot. Like a lot, a lot. That's a lot of fear in me right now. He hasn't stopped casting Agilus Moonblade. <laughs> Finally. How uh, that broke him, but jeez, <laughs> I can't even see him on my screen, but he can spear me. <laughs> How do you think Earthshaker would fare here? We need to kill the wizard. I need the wizard to come here. Another one. Yeah, I, I know I got su someone got summoned. I know that's for sure. Wizard! Yo, thank you, Screw. I appreciate it, man. Oh. What? Are we stopping? I feel like I didn't have connection issues the last stream. Not many quit outs. That was weird. Thank you so much, though, man. <laughs> oh, wait, is it the same team? No. Uh. What? What kind? What kind of spawn point is this from Soft? What in the fuck? <laughs> what amazing! Amazing spawn, I do say. Wow. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that was an Elden Ring moment and a half, for sure. I didn't even know that, like, why would you choose that as a spawn point game? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Wait, something hit me there? Okay. <laughs> I'm in, boys. Sorry, I was, I'm just in dismay here because I got, I got summoned inside of a pole. Very rare. Apparently it can happen though. Dishonest pull summons. Rock throw. I guess I do have some ranged attack, which is kind of nice. <laughs> it's got like the cicada. What is that thing called? The, the cicada something? Hang on. Pretend. I am actually Canadian. Hmm, me and this guy have an interesting connection. Bobby summoned. Oh, Bobby in my face, Bobby. Oh shit, that was a cliff. Okay, Bobby, relax, relax, relax. I know you get summoned in expecting battle, but damn, Bobby, damn. Relax, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. I appreciate you. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Alright. 
That's two down. Um, how are we feeling about Funny Ashes of War here? Well, we would have used it, but he got hit by the jump attack, so. Good fight, wizard with the deer helm. Well, goodbye, Mr. Bloop. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> As if it spawned me there. I can't wait to look back at that. Is that a normal spawn point? I I don't know, man. I'm suspicious. What about the ancestral woods? Let's try here. Ooh, okay. Instant on here. That's I'll take that. Uh, well, different weapons have different stun times, Semeth, from their uh, attacks, so you just have to learn the timing for the weapon you have it on. I kind of have it down for the Halberd and the Colossal Sword. Haven't really used it on anything else, so I'd have to learn its timing. If that makes sense. Let's try this. This thing actually has pretty decent AR for a, a great spear. More than my Lance, although my Lance has a good Ash of War, so... Uh, yeah, Ryan, I'm just slowly making the build. Like, the game's pretty huge, so whenever I want to make a, a new starting class, it takes a couple days for me to invest time into it. Usually when I tried out a lot of the new builds for you guys, it was on the same uh, starting class, Vagabond, so that's why I did all the melee ones first. The wizard I had to bring through the game, and then I now have to do the same with a, a faith build, so... It takes a bit more time. Hello there! Rivers of Blood! Ah, oh, okay, this... Mm, Lance might be a little bit better for this situation, but... We'll see what we can do. Hello, Sinless. This weapon would actually be amazing if it got an Ash of War that wasn't useless. It sucks that there's so many weapons like that. Although Somber can be okay. What's a good Somber Ash of War? I guess this buffs me. I wonder how hard. This guy likes that way too much. Way too much. <laughs> Let's go with the Spear Talisman. I want to see how different a, a Spear Thrust will be. Oh yeah, I can use the Physic to have more damage as well. Because it buffs my strength by 10. Sinless! Hello, Sin. I'm kind of incorporating jump attacks a little bit more now, which is... Like, wait, what did I just... Okay, yeah. Oh, this guy's dead. He's so dead. He found the, the wolf. Oof. Yeah. That's unfortunate. You dragged the wolf back here with you. That's a tough one. Although, yeah, this seems to have a little bit more AR. Well, a decent amount more AR than my my Lance. Although it is plus 10. Is my Lance 25? It is 25. Okay, well then, yeah, let's see. 726 versus 667. Yeah, that's like 60, 60 more AR. I guess that's a decent trade-off for having no useful Ash of War, right? <laughs> Maybe we could try Dynast Dynasty Mausoleum. Good old serpent spear, right? Oh, I'm wearing the. There's a ring that makes you look host color. <laughs> I'm a host right now. <laughs> I, I my brain just lagged so hard when I swapped that for you, and it it didn't change the color. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm just wearing it to look host color. Uh, I'm using the plus ten strength physic and the one that heals you when you're about to die. I was like, uh, <laughs> what? Oh no. Okay, this might not be one of the better places to invade. I was thinking cool battleground, but boss right there. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, I can check the names of my physic for you guys if you want to see. I think one's called the Strength Knot, and the other one is the Crimson Bubble Tear. Yeah. Crimson Bubble Tear. Okay, this area is better then. I'm not sure, Shay. That's a tough one. I do... It, like, if they're alone, the parrying them can go well. I just think the parry's a little risky when they have a teammate beside them. Yeah, it's really interesting, Calastia. I don't know I don't know if that's something that's going to get patched, like where you can use the ballista bolts on the crossbow. But you have to jump, right? Or, wait, what are you talking about? The crossbow applies the buff. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. They have something similar in Dark Souls 3 as well. 
Yeah, Castle Soul can be great if you get in the castle. I find every time I spawn, I'm outside the castle, and uh, yeah, I have to run in, then they're by the boss. Yeah, yeah, if they make it Arena, Alicious, that's what, that's what happened with Dark Souls 3. We all did like invasions until we had the DLC that had the arena, and then we a lot of us did the arena for like a year-ish. Well, maybe less. It gets a little bit old to just do arena over and over again compared to the the randomness of invasions. That can be anything, right? So, uh, it's tough to say. I guess we'll see when the DLC comes out how good the arenas are. Oh, what level am I? One foot. You know what? Hang on. I should maybe just put it in the title. Damn, I was muted. Ah, damn it, dude. Sorry, I was answering that question. <laughs> Leandro, thank you so much, though, man. Uh, the duration of the Cerulean Hidden Tier uh, shouldn't be fixed, in my opinion. Wait, the duration of the Cerulean Hidden Tier? Which tier is that, Leandro? Is that the one that uh, allows you to absorb magic for a little bit of time when you get hit? <laughs> also, Drift, what the hell, man? That's so kind, dude. Aren't you on vacation? Why are you watching tr Twitch streams? <laughs> YouTube streams. <laughs> Twitch streams. <laughs> That's really funny. Thank you so much, man. I think I think 138 is better, though. I think it uh, gets more action than 140. Chase is this the is the test stream, but it seems that way. The people from attacks and aims for bum. However, has the beauty slash looks of Robin sure boss key. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I guess I didn't read the end of that donation. Thank you, man. Drift is the ultimate bro. Oh, it's the one that gave you give up zero FP for a limited time. You, wait, is there an issue with it right now where it gets more time? <laughs> I hope it's... Wasn't it like 15 seconds? I think that's fair. How it's supposed to be. If it's, if it's extended, I disagree. <laughs> Fix it. I don't know. I didn't hear about that issue, though. They hot fixed it earlier. What was wrong with it? I didn't even. I haven't used it, so I wouldn't have noticed, right? Oh, it was halved. Oh, so you were only getting like seven seconds? I thought it was a 15 second one. It got nerfed accidentally to four. Ah, so one cast. Okay. I mean, 10 is fine. 10 seemed okay. If that was what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be 10. Yeah, I've seen people nuke bosses with it, so I guess it, it can be very strong for PvE. Um, what is going on here? Yeah, I think 138 is way more active than this. It's crazy. Um, usually the lower areas get so much, I didn't even get any in the Halig tree. Unless, is Steam down right now for some reason? Nope. Okay. Yo, Michael, thank you so much, man. Rivers of Bud is, is pretty crazy in PvE, too. Yeah, Bleed in general. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to Framazula and try that out. So far, 140 is definitely not it. What about... What did you guys say this is the best one? The Great Bridge? Or was it the this bridge? I forget. Of course. I've never summoned for Melania. I feel like summoning for Melania would be harder. Personally, she heals off you, right? So, what is going on? I might just, I might just relaunch the game. Maybe there's something's wrong with the game. Cause these are all areas that you get like instant invasions at at this level. Bots, yes. Thank you, thank you, Drift. You're at 138. Yeah, I might revert to that, honestly. Underground roadside, you say? Like in Landell? 
Yeah, I tried near Limgrave. I did try that. We could try Agil Lake. That's what someone said is good. Let's try that. Yeah, because like then it's not usually like this. I usually get pretty instant. Okay, well, this worked. <laughs> okay. Agil. <laughs> no. I watched a friend of mine play uh, against Moog recently. It was quite the time to watch. <laughs> what? Oh my god, did I get an AFK farmer? <laughs> Man! This is an AFK farm spot. Oh god. Well, I guess we leave in. I don't really have any tools to deal with this. He's underneath on the ledge, you can only get to with the horse. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Yo, Wheezy, thank you so much for the membership, man. Can th I don't know if the jar can reach that one. That one's a really, really low angle. I've only seen people deal with that by jumping off with the old carry and attack. <laughs> Damn it, people are still doing that. That's kind of sad. What about here? I have the jar cannon, I do. I just, I don't know how to deal with that one with the jar cannon, I guess. I've never seen it. Thank you. Hey Chase, would you be up for a weird weapon invasion stream? Just Using the candle, the candle stand? stand and the ring finger and such. I was actually trying to add that to the faith build because it has fire scaling, right, uh, Marcus? It seems actually like a decent weapon. Uh. <laughs> Doesn't seem bad to be honest with you. The the candle flame. Please give me invasion. <laughs> okay, we can try Castle Soul after this. See if it doesn't spawn me somewhere bad. These spawn points. Um which one's the best one to stand at? Church of the Eclipse. Hello there, Emilio. Thank you for the membership, man. Uh, I do have a, I do have the lance. I'm just trying both out. I think the lance might be a bit better though, since it can have an ash of war, right? So. Ah, uh, you gotta look up where people uploaded on killing them, from the AFK from Limgrave. Okay. Yeah, I haven't actually seen it. They're really easy to snipe. Oh, okay. I will look that up. It's the first one I saw there. I've actually had pretty good luck with not seeing AFK farmers, to be honest. Usually. Ah, uh, yeah, you could block if you find an AFK farmer. I mean, I guess you may as well, so you can invade that area over and over again. It's probably worth. I'm a little lazy, though. <laughs> thank you. Yo, Michael, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, greetings from Germany. Aw, oh, thank you, dude. How's Germany this time of year? In here? No. Over here? Uh, ooh, no, that is a journey. I know how to get there, though, at least. Uh, first step has the most AFK farmers I've ever seen. They just sit on the, the temple, and you have to... Can you get them with the, the cannon? We could try if we find one, I guess. Yeah, the first area is, like, the worst for that. Um, yeah, they definitely went all the way around. Yeah, the middle of the Lyernia area where the water is is also rough for that. I think they'll, they'll patch away. I think honestly making it so you can use the Taunter's Tongue only at the Grace Point would solve that. I've heard a couple people suggest that, or that and it, it seems perfect. Because then you can't really lure in an invader anywhere that you couldn't get. You know what I mean? I feel like that would balance it pretty well. Where in the hell? Over there! Oh, well, believe me, I'm cannoning you. Boom. I can get over there, but that's a, that's a journey. I'll just hit through the wall, you think? If I aim right there. Nice. Two for one. 
damn it. Okay, I'm coming. That's a journey, though. This area is cool if it would spawn me closer to them. <laughs> I have pretty bad luck with spawn points. Wait. Oh, wait. No, I have to... Oh, I went the wrong way entirely. Hang on. Eric, thank you for the membership, man. Or, I mean, Gunner. And Eric, thank you for the donation, dude. <laughs> nice. Uh, this closer. Or no. Bird dying. There we go. Uh, I think it has... Did you say better than Dark Souls 2? Oh, I didn't really dabble in Dark Souls 2 PvP. I honestly couldn't tell you, but from what I did attempt at Dark Souls 2, I think Elden Ring is more fun than Dark Souls 2. Uh, Dark Souls 3 has the most balanced PvP. This has potential if they uh, fix a couple things. I believe. Oh, hey, guys. I've only been looking for you for literally ever. <laughs> Wizard down. <laughs> Wizard down. Oh, that was an interesting roll. <laughs> uh, Hora Lu, because you won't be expecting it, probably. Oh, I might be dead. Woo! My god, that, that is an interesting attack and a half right there. They have a lot of AoEs in Elden Ring. I really wish they tone it down. Because people can just kind of like spam big attacks. And I would say that is one of the banes of the PvP right now. Like the Dragon Breath is very strong in a gank. Um, everything else is pretty manageable, I find. Just the AoE ones in a group are just like, what do you do? You just kind of have to wait it out, you know what I mean? So It makes it less engaging. That was an interesting choice. Pretty easy to dodge that at the very least, but you know. <laughs> Me too. We have the same setup I see. You have a gold aura I have to dodge though. <laughs> I think he'd be a little bit easier to deal with with the stitcher. Oh, they have another invader here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the a the the AOE god. <laughs> Whoa! How'd that work? Good backstab, brother. I'm gonna go deal with her. Oh, I killed the Sunbro by accident. That's okay. <laughs> Fun fight, boys. James, what's up, dude? Good teamwork. <laughs> when the when the sun bro gets in the wrong area. <laughs> Yo, Wasim, thank you for the membership, man. He just kind of like, I was attacking through the doorway and so all of a sudden sun bro. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. That was a good one. I like that. Uh, where else? Let's see, the Lake of Rot, eh, people ask that all the time. I'm not, I'm not a giant fan. <laughs> Wasim, thank you for the membership, though. And Gunner, thank you, man. Love that you guys enjoy it. Hang on a second. <laughs> oh, he saved the, the host right there, yeah. Thank you. He definitely did. Okay, I guess 140 is not good for Noxtella, but for some reason, like, on my 138 character, it was non-stop here. So that's interesting. Um, I guess the Mogwin Palace works somewhat. Ancestral wo Woods works somewhat. The snow area got one. It's going good. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of other areas. I haven't really tried any dungeons uh, that much. Hawk, they f like I guess some of the I'd have to like note down the really long ones that people take some time to go through versus the ones where the boss is like right there. <laughs> Why ever choose? Well, people ask. I go there for them. 
Uh, mine are max right now, Arknet. Well, the ones that I could get to max anyway. This is a really long loading screen for a grace point. I'm not invading right now, right? I'm I'm going to a grace point. <laughs> what's uh, what's happening here? Yeah, Gabe. I think I I think I agree. I think 138 is better. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna relaunch the game. Maybe. Yeah. Doesn't seem like it's growing anymore now. I need my mouse game. I don't care why Steam there. Get the. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have the task manager. Hang on a second, boys. What's with okay, so I think since one of the newer patches, um, the game freezes when you go to a grace point sometimes. It freezes there sometimes. Oh my god, that's two different grace points that that happens. There's the one that's by um the lift, the not the rolled lift, the dectus lift, right? <laughs> that sometimes freezes my game. When I warp there, and then uh, I guess there sometimes. Strange. Yeah, it doesn't happen much in invasions. Okay, well, where are we gonna warp then? Let's just maybe. Well, you know, we'll go. We'll go to Castle Soul again. That was a good one. Oh, have a good day, man. <laughs> Enjoy your trip. Yo, Gekiro. Thank you for the membership as well. All right, we're back. We're back. Yeah, you know what? I've seen the most disconnects on people that are co-oping. Like, it's not as bad as an invader, but it still does happen. Yeah, maybe, Nito. Maybe people like hanging out there at 125. That's why my 138 works so well. Uh, yeah, the only armor sets that I've actually enjoyed so far are Scaled, uh, Banished Knight. The Veterans is like when I want to be sweaty and I want to min-max, but it's not the best looking. <laughs> so for fashion, I think the Banished Knight and the Scaled look the best. Oh god. Uh, I mean, if you get scaled down, you have to use a password NLM, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure where that would be useful. What the? All I hear is a bunch of these. I didn't even know these things were here. I don't remember those things. One dude? No host? Oh, that is the host. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, he got eaten. No. <laughs> Hang on. How much damage do you think these do? <laughs> 17, okay. <laughs> we're just we're just kinda helping out the little enemy. I don't want to like fully kill him. Hey there. Whoops. Getting eaten can hurt apparently. I haven't really experienced it. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. No armor is a, a pretty rough time. Gunner, thank you, Ben. Uh, well, if this is 125, which I have this build at, I would just have like 60 strength, um, a little less endurance, and wear not the 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 ring that makes me host color. I would have the uh, this instead, and I could lower my endurance and health a little bit, and it'd be basically the same, but it would save me levels. Um, okay, I can give another shot at Halicry. Uh, my talisman choice? Well, I mean, this one's just for fashion. This one is if I'm using a uh, thrusting type weapon because it gets counterattacks, so it boosts the damage further on like my lance and my uh, stitcher here. When I attack, when they're about to attack or are attacking in their attack frames, uh, I use a lot of talismans, sorry, not rings. I use a, a, quite a variety, so there's none that I ever have steady on except for these two. Extra health, extra wayload. They work for all my builds. 
Uh, low level health stack builds? Oh, like where you can do super high damage but low health. Uh, yeah, in Dark Souls 3 I did that a lot. I haven't really dabbled in that, in this yet. Best medium armor with high poise. Well, is the veteran's armor considered medium? Because that... <laughs> It's not like the tanky, bulky armor. That that one, I think, just has the best poise. I'm wearing the gauntlets for that reason. Alexander Shard is great, though, if you're not using any thrust weapon. It's probably the one I use the most with everything else. It's It just boosts all your damage of your Ashes of War. The Dung Eater armor. That armor is... Is it the heaviest armor in the game? The Dung Eater? I think it might be. Um, Let's try a little bit of this. Yeah, I use that a lot, Jerome, but then I switched it to the the ice one recently because you have to put the ice spear on, like, spears slash halberds, and this has the most damage. So. Jeez. Oh, bull goat is heaviest. Yeah, I forgot about bull goat. <laughs> like the reinforced club that was super good at roll catching constantly. Yeah, but... I guess, I mean, the lance for me is kind of, it's not the same, obviously, but, like, you can do the running attack into the crouch, into, like, the jump, and those are all roll catches if they panic roll, and you can kind of keep mixing it up like that. So I guess great spears are, are that for me in this game, sadly. Jeez, man, though, yeah, like, what this level, though. <laughs> Definitely lacking on invasions compared to all the other ones. Um, What about, like... No, I know here doesn't, because if they kill the dragon, I just get sent home. I could use Prelates Gauntlets, I suppose. Although I'm already hitting the breakpoint that I, I like. Try the first steps. Yeah, but the first steps just gets me a dude camping on top of the tower that I can't reach. Like, every time I try. I love the Night Rider Glaive. I think it's the highest damaging uh, Glaive. And mine's Frostbite Infused, so. The running R2 is dirty on the spear, yeah. Yeah, 138 did get me good invasions, man. It did. It was also on the weekend, so I don't know if that affects it. Hell, we'll try Kaelid out. Let's go, Kaelid. I did. I went to Halleck Tree Nate. And I tried for Amazula. I'll try again, though. But we did. We did go there. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Okay, Kaelid. Okay, makes sense. Somehow that makes sense, but all right. <laughs> uh, I haven't really tried flails yet, no. Oh. Let's try this out. Hello there, drab. Let's make sure we buff up a little bit. Hey, hey man. How are you? Hey. Let's go. Two katanas, one rivers of blood. The one rivers. Okay, if it's a rivers of blood, I kind of I need like a great spear to combat the range, you know. It's the only way. It's just such a good katana on top of having that really long attack. Oh, I see, it's got such good roll catch potential. Oh, he didn't panic roll that. What a chat. Actual Chad. Oop. I think he wants to do the eye. He hasn't used the Ash of War yet either. Ah, uh, good trade, man. <laughs> good trade. Yeah, I haven't really given flails much love, but they don't really. <laughs> I feel like the flails don't do it for me, man. They're not my playstyle. What kind of weapon do you have? Uh, just the talisman? Hmm. Oh. Just lightning? Oh, okay. And then double scythes. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, that combos. Fun fighting. Dude. Is this honor? For honor! <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, he didn't use the weapon art once, by the way. That's a little bit random and rare. 
Uh, that's the the crimson bubble one, right? That's the one that heals you when you're low health. Oh damn! Oh, oh no! This I forget why I don't stand here to invade. <laughs> the geysers are so loud. I have played For Honor, not in a while, but I did play it a lot when it came out. I enjoyed it. It was a good game. Ah, uh, just to try it out, Rob. Some people like 150, so I thought, hey, I've tried 150, I've tried 125, may as well try 140. I'm really like narrowing down the soul levels that I like the most. So far it's 138 for build and endgame and like activity and uh, 80 for overall like invasion speed. It's so quick. Hey, is this the same guy? Drab. Hello, dude. Hey, man. Hey, what the hell? Well, I guess we get a second fight. All right, my man. Show me what you got this time. Uh, oh, you have... Oh. Oh, you're... Okay, he's going to gank you, though. Most invaders, I don't think, would be honorable. Personally. Do you think from software lover at cross-play between PC and console, it would be first invasions? Fun fight, Drab. I appreciate your, your setup and the, the less use of the Ash of War. <laughs> and Jackson. I would hope so, man. Do I think so? I have no idea. But I would like it to. These guys are just kind of hosting here, I guess. Waiting for invaders. Not bad. Is that Kale? <laughs> is that, is that Ouroboros with his double death sight build? <laughs> Honestly, those are hard to get the death proc on. I guess they should be, because it's an insta kill. But, like, man, they are. Oh, he's like a death build. Let's watch this one play out. Destructo disc. I wonder if he thinks I'm a host. I am a host color, sort of. Nah, not really. It's kind of. It keeps the tinge of you being red. It doesn't really make you exactly host color. It makes you more host color, though. Alright, let's use something else. You know what? People don't fight this thing much. I feel like they're not prepared for it. Hey, man. Oh, I'll heal up with you, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, let's use the spear. All right. Your scythe versus my great spear. This, why? Wow. This thing hits really hard, actually. Like, I'm just... Compared to a lot of other things... Oh, he's got two setups. <laughs> I almost ran back into it. I actually like using the jump attack. <laughs> Fake... <laughs> Fun fight, Angel. It's B scaling? It's A scaling, actually. <laughs> if you make it max upgrade, it goes to A. I guess that's why it's more powerful than my Lance. Oh, my Lance is A too. Less flat damage, though. Oh no, this thing just. Yeah, okay. This Ash of War? Oh my god. <laughs> You know, it might actually be useful if they would have kept the wind on it. Like, what? At least the Storm Ruler in Dark Souls 3 kept the wind, you know what I mean? <laughs> Odd choices to not at least have that. Would have gave it something. Ah, uh, it depends uh, what I'm fighting. Not a lot of people use light attacks, but yeah. I have like setups for parries if I need to. But most people don't tend to use the normal attack in a group. They use a lot of their AoEs, Ashes of War. So it depends on what I'm fighting, really. Ooh. Karaman. Karaman? Hello there, guys. Ooh, there's three! Double Sepuku. Hmm. Hello. We'll test to them a bit before we go into that war zone. <laughs> oh. It's 
seppuku. Oh, it's only a single seppuku. That's that's not quite as bad. It's still terrifying because bleed, but you know. What's he doing with that? Own bolt. Let's get a little bit of extra defense going on here. Um, this is when I kind of regret not having the thunderbolt. Oh, that hits when it can't see me. Didn't know that. Hello. Alright, River's a blood dude. We're gonna have to fan dagger you to get rid of that. Oh, he got bled right then. Madness. Jeez, madness buildup is kind of scary in a group here. He's out of FP. I gotta watch that. Hang on a second here. Okay, we get rid of the madness game. I need to get rid of the lightning caster. The bane of my existence. You know, might be a good idea to invest in my bombs. They're just kind of camping the edge over there. Nice. Worked out well for me. <laughs> Shouldn't have traded, bloody guy. Should not have traded. Um, let me get some defense here. We're falling back a little bit. Oh, he's got a heal. <laughs> I'll make sure to continue to dodge Hone Bolt just cause. Oh god. Trying to get to my this. Let's have this. Oh, I didn't have my buff the whole time. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, well, we wasted us this thing. Hey man, Piccolo, when I get to you, I'm gonna murder you. Although I gotta deal with that a little bit first. I think they're gonna go for the resummon, so I need to run by the madness guy. I have to get on this side of the battle here. Ah, that stunned me, unfortunately. Okay. Maybe the Ice Spear. I feel like all their spells are just kind of like baiting. Well, defense spells. Like waiting. Oh my god. <laughs> Doesn't that cost a decent amount of FP? A answer? Indeed. He ran out. <laughs> oh, but he's got FP. <laughs> Finally. There we go. You just needed to get close to me. And right, now we can easily fight me and you. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> There's just like a lot of really wide AoE spells that kind of hold you off. So, yeah. When it comes to the actual melee combat, it's pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, there's really no like way around some of those spells. You just have to wait. It's tough, but it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right, to the prayer room. Uh, yeah. If you're in the early, like the, in my face with the hitbox of this, it combos and it does pretty absurd damage. But the trade-off being, you have to be like touching my toes. So, yeah. It, it works when they're really in your face. Yeah, Pebble has range. That's true. Oh yeah, dude, I told you. Like this this level, like if you guys PvP at certain different levels, you're gonna see the damage difference. Pretty it's pretty severe at this level, your damage to health ratio. If you build your build right. Name. Uh, 
<laughs> I like starting with the Stitcher, it's nice. Yeah, a bit, well, anything above like 120, I would say, is going to have around this damage. I could save myself quite a lot of points by not uh, wearing this and just doing this instead with the uh, the Erdtree's favor. I'd have the weight load and stuff earlier, but I wanted the fashion. <laughs> Wait, where are they? They're down? This is one of the more intriguing areas to invade. Can't always tell where they are right away. Um, oh, they're there. Right? Yeah. Okay. Make sure I don't waste it when I jump down. Oh, hello. What the hell? Where's he go? Oh, there's a doorway there. Oh. Oh, I mean, this is not the best idea of Mr. Blue. I kind of feel for you. You do have the goat armor, though, so I don't feel that bad. <laughs> it's, a, it's a crime on fashion. You must look beautiful. In this beautiful game. Oh no. Oh no. I can get there, but I have, I have to backtrack a little bit. Yeah, I can't make that jump. Fashion police. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I remember how to get there. What? Please no, I'm a red. I'm a red. I'm a red. Look, red. I'm a red. I'm red. You still? I'm red. Dude, I'm red. I'm a red. I'm a red. This way. This way. Hit me again and I kill you. <laughs> uh, wait, no, you, you confuse me, you confuse me. It's this way. <laughs> I think he missed the jump. <laughs> That's the downside to the ring, by the way. You'll, you'll see a couple of those, that'll, that'll happen. Wait, oh, now he's all the way down? Damn it. Uh Oh, he got there faster than me. Well, guess I'm not the wisest one after all. Or wait, is he all the way down? He is all the way down. Okay, yeah. Okay, we go. I know, my armor's still pretty optimized. As long as I have over 61 poise, I don't care. Like 61 poise is fine. Well, we weren't needed, Mr. Red. We weren't needed. <laughs> nice weapon choice. <laughs> yeah, down here is a tough area to be. I don't know. I thought he had a summon. Hmm. Guess he didn't have a summon after all. Unfortunate. You know what, the only time I've ever fought down there, there were none of the revenants down there. So I guess the team of three had already killed them. Because I didn't, I didn't find any. Go to Castle Soul again, we got some good ones there. Uh, 61 poise lets me tank one hit from a one-handed hammer and uh, two-handed katana, straight sword, spears, curved swords, once. So I'm able to trade with all the light weapons that are two-handed at least once, except for hammers. If you want a two-hand, or tank a two-handed hammer, you need 67 poise, but most people don't use hammers, like the standard hammers anyway, so I feel like you want 56 minimum, 67 is awesome, uh, and then, you know, above 100 is obviously ridiculous, but I'll never have those on my builds, because, yeah. Well, it's also to tank one light attack of like curve swords, straight swords, katanas. You need you need fifty six. So, but yeah, that makes a big difference. That means that I can use like uh, oh, oh wait, this is my world. This isn't an invasion. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, 125 is definitely enough, uh, uh, Pepper. I'm just trying out different levels to see where the activity is. Like, I want to find a good level that can invade all areas. So far, that's not 140, but it's still, we're still getting good invasions.
Yeah, 51 lets you tank one-handed hits from straight start katanas and stuff, but I guess that's useful because a lot of people do wield. But 56 is what I like. Sometimes it's nice to tank two-handed spears and stuff. Kya. Um, so far 125 seems to, I mean, it gets similar to what 140 gets, I guess. No, it's 56, I'm pretty sure to tank two-handed katanas. 51 is one-handed, to my knowledge. Kazuya! Play at 150? Yeah, some people enjoy 150. Uh, my experience with 140, 150 though, is it's like, it's basically the same as like, uh, 125 ish range, but it's a little slower for invasions for me. Uh, 138 was my favorite actually. It hit up like both player bases. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, okay, yeah. This is why we don't invade the castle that much. We got lucky with some good ones earlier. That one, like, most of the time I spawn outside of the castle and they're like at the boss fight. Let's... I'll try lane Dell for fun. I love it. I don't think I'll get one at this level, though. Is it 61 poise to tank power stance spears? Oh, okay. I forgot about that breakpoint. But yeah, that's a super useful one. It's another bonus for having 61. I like minimum, like, 61. Uh, best... The best seal. I haven't used faith casting, so maybe someone in chat can help you out with that. I don't know which one is best for faith casting. I've only done any, like, sorcery myself. You could try the Prison Town Church quick too. Oh, the, the, okay. I could try like the beginning of the mountain area. Like where the, oh, surprising, but okay. I'll take it. Yeah, we could try a new game plus Stormvale. Like, let's go thereafter. That sounds good. I've been wanting to invade there. I just never know what level works there. Oh. Instant. I'll take that. Hello, guys. Hello, Sven. Hey, man. Rivers of Blood, is it? Hmm. Let me introduce you to my Pokey Stick 2000. Oh, that's not a Rivers of Blood. Those are, those are curved swords, and you're poisoned. Bleed. I gotta figure out a way to, like, make those activate and not have to run away from them. If you get sort of hit by it, they like kind of trigger and it doesn't doesn't hurt but they definitely zone you difficultly cool. well that wasn't the best space to say. okay well i like this weapon a lot actually it's really cool i have fun with it giant hunt on a flamberge that is not what i was expecting so you know what probably useful people don't expect it Oh, you know what? Hang on. Let me get my own buff going here. Make me do a little bit more damage. Actually, that guy seems to think that uh, it's a little safe now. So we're going to give him... He's staying half health. That's optimal for me. Ah, uh, that combo is a bit what it hit. Oh, I guess I can't strafe the fire. Can I jump it? I can jump it, but that doesn't make it any good for that scenario. Shish kebab. <laughs> My own bomb. Free hand. Oh, he actually dodged that. What a good dodge, actually. Although, shout out to my aim a little bit as well. <laughs> I feel like those would have hit real. What about the dismount? Do we have we have red men's flame on this? Pretty good damage. Hmm. Not bad at all. We're taking turns here. <laughs> you giant hunt. I try to backstab it. Uh okay, let's get like this. Giant hunt! Wait, you know what? Do the giant hunt again. Do the giant hunt, we're gonna scare him. Ah, uh, he's probably not gonna do it. Maybe. <laughs> I didn't think I got the parry. I had to go back in the menu for that. <laughs> I thought I missed. Fun fight, man. 
you see that? Oh man, I literally like closed it. I was like, well, I failed. Nope. This is a cool little area. Um, yeah, I'm surprised I got an invasion here at this level. Where are we? Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Uh, what about here? Let's, since we're trying out random areas, what about the highway? For this level. Yo, Jay, thank you so much, man. And also, uh, Warlin, I, sorry, I missed that donation, man. Uh, excited for DLC weapons? Yeah, for sure. I feel like DLC weapons always kind of blow the main game's weapons out of the water. Not that I'm gonna, you know, not love my Claymore any less, but... I'm pretty excited to see what they do. Red main castle. Oh yeah, we could we could even try the like Limgrave castle area. Oh, this is interesting. Whenever I invade here, it's never like right here. It's always like that way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this character is level 140. This time I put it in the the title. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do that more. Try to remember. Chase, an item Hello, boys. Within five seconds of finding them. Also, Chase. Fun fight, man. Fun Ooh. fight. It is fun, you know? They try. They do good combos. They get me close sometimes. You never know. You die pretty quick in this game. Something I've noticed. You make one mistake, it can be over. Oh, that was meant to be a running attack. I don't know what that was. I think I'll do a third one. I gotta watch out. Oh, he's summoning, he's fighting an invader over there. Oh, oh, this guy might be dead. Okay. Hey, that's the same guy. Hey, masking Eclipse, what's up, dude? One bomb for the road. Ah. Uh, well. Honest curse build. Yeah, you know, for how, how crazy that sounded, that like a weapon can have the death plate build up, it's actually very slow. So it's not, it's not too bad to deal with. It's it's not the worst for sure. Why is that always pinged? Let's try the poison, the shaded castle. Yeah, someone asked about this earlier. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I don't even know what they're gonna do with the DLC. Although there's some speculation on like part of the map, it's gonna be in like this, I think. That, I bet you some of these like clouds that are not touching the edge. Maybe this. This could, like, become DLC. Some of them. Some of them look, like, more like the part of the, the area than others. Uh, what are you going to do with the Runark stash? Uh, I don't know. But I actually, I eventually plan to do, uh, like, a New Game Plus playthrough with Prod and Lost. We were all talking about it, so we'll see whenever they're done with all their build making and stuff to do that. So there, that might be useful. Oh wait, you don't even need those to get invaded though. You just use the Taunter's Tongue. I don't know. If I ever plan to, you know, go New Game Plus 7 to kill some bosses, I guess. Yeah, why? Why the Poison Swamp? Thank you. When are you going to do a Runark stash reveal? Thank you, Ranigo. Uh, I think I only have like 250 on this character. Um... Hmm, you think it's worth it to try to warp in? I could try to warp in. Uh, I guess you could. I don't think you need the rune arc for anything. All it is is just like a st oh, stab boost. <laughs> well, I guess we're not going to warp in. Yeah, 60 vigor is kind of a must. At this level, anything above like 120-ish, you want 60 vigor, I would say. Unless you're doing like a very, very high damage build where you're kind of like a glass cannon yourself, then I could see that not being the case, but... Hello, guys. Wait. One guy. Hello, guy. Uh, hey, dude. I don't know, man. It's kind of, you kind of feel bad now because like there's a good Ash of War to deal with that. But at the same time, like, I don't feel bad because I've dealt with it so much in the past. <laughs> Fun fight, then. <laughs> the old days of the shield are gone. <laughs> Still pretty strong, though, obviously. 
but at least we have a way through it. <laughs> the door build. Honestly, that used to be so difficult to deal with. Still is, but they did lower its guard boost with the with the guard boost talisman. That was like a patch that fixed that issue. I don't know to what extent they changed it though, but it was pretty ridiculous. Yo, Jonathan, thank you so much, man. Uh, do you still invade people on New Game Plus? Yeah, yeah. Uh, New Game Plus has no bearing on what you invade. It's all level and weapon level. You could be New Game Plus 8 and invade someone in New Game Plus 60. As long as you guys are in the same uh, level range and weapon level range. Ah, uh, no, I only have three characters. Uh, Gerald. Gerald. I wouldn't let someone sign into my Steam, you crazy. <laughs> Hell no. Um. I'm always like kind of baffled though, like when you, you see like uh, someone who plays Souls, it's like as like kind of like their job on YouTube. I'm I'm always surprised that people are surprised they have like multiple characters. <laughs> like we kind of even when we're not streaming this game, I have to play it to build the character up. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like for the channel as well. We invest a lot more hours than like the average player, I guess. Although, personally, I only have three characters, so I'm nowhere near, like, up there with some people. They've been investing way more time. Uh, let's see. I don't even know. How do you check your hours played? You look on your Steam, right? I think I'm at 400 hours as of right now. Yeah, it says it says 398 hours. You have 277. That's a lot, you know, for not. That is a lot. It's it's been out like two months though. Actually, it's not as much as you think. It sounds like a lot, but it has been out two months. So. Yeah, I'm in like 390 to 400 range. Yeah, it is, it is fun. Exactly, Alpha Zone. Also, I spend a lot of time PvPing too, so that's why I only have like three characters right now. You're at 590, damn! <laughs> you guys have been loving it. 520, shit. Blowing my hours away right now. Might have mostly been invested in like, I build, I make the build and then I just straight invade. Not a lot of like co oping or anything. Although co oping could be some of the most fun in this for sure. Jeez, 613. Ooh, that's like double mine, damn. Well, not really, but like a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't really leave my game running at all. I feel like a lot of people do that as well. I tend to like shut down my PC when I'm not using it. Half our AFK, yeah, I feel like it's a lot of people. I tend to not leave my game sitting. Are Ultra Greatswords better than Greatswords in this? Um, I would say so. Yeah. Sad reality. You know what? Ultras needed some love. I'll give them that. They just kind of did Greatswords a little dirty. Oh. Is that an invader down there? What is this poor spawn point? I'm coming, Red. What? <laughs> Please put me down there. It didn't bring me any closer, did it? In fact, this is further away, isn't it? <laughs> oh god. Alright, I'm coming, Red. Just to just survive. Yeah, uh, Yuan Zhao. Yuan Zhao. If I pronounced that, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that's the reason I've been using it. They added like a close range hitbox. It's so useful. Uh, Frilled Finger has returned home. Hmm. So the summon left. I'm confused at what's happening. Yeah, I, I honestly don't get a lot. Not at the other levels. Here I've kind of had a team red a decent amount of time. Hello there, Hattori. Oh wait, did it also send the red home? Oh, I see. It sent them both home. All right, man, me and you. So it was like a disconnect. Maybe you. Maybe I avoided the disconnect with my warp. Finger tech at work. <laughs> it's kind of funny when I think about it. Sir. 
Come back, Hera. Finish him with the dagger. Wait, the red was still here? Oh no, that's a summon. <laughs> what? Where was your summon that whole time? I am so confused. <laughs> I have no idea where he was. I, I didn't. Did he resummon him? Or was he just not participating? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he was a little late. He just came charging in. He killed a pacifist. I don't know, man. He's more like a roller. Hey, that's a good way to help, Tony. I feel like a lot of people appreciate the summons at Melania. It's risky, though. I feel like if you have a teammate that doesn't know what they're doing, they just heal in Melania. And you're just like, oh, God. Veril. Oh, my God. This is, this is the best spawn point. Thank you, game. I appreciate you for all that you do. <laughs> I'm a sniper. <laughs> what if he comes in and hits me in the back? No. The great long range war of 2022. This guy's like, what is hitting me? <laughs> <laughs> they hate me. It's fair. Ah, uh, they realized it. I need a higher arc. Excuse me. Ah! I think he's understood the, the range I have. Damn. You're safe there and you know it. <laughs> Hang on, I'll, I'll go work on your team over here. They're not, they're not ready for me anymore. Oh wait, what? This is kind of funny. Host, you walk up a little- Ah! Bap! <laughs> this is a little bit too fun. When <laughs> they get to me, I've- I've surely aggressed them. They- they greatly dislike me. Hey boys, they're like, I swear to god. <laughs> it's time. Oh, weird. Weird lock on. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, I didn't want that, damn. Wait! This could be also optimal, still hold up. I need to, like, launch them off, though. Oh, good dodge. I'm getting hit by that. Indeed. Can't see. I'm alive somehow. I might be dead. I don't know how I'm alive right now. I shouldn't be alive right now. <laughs> I was basically dodging blind. I have no idea how I'm alive, but I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Oh man, I couldn't have got stuck on more zombies. That was hilarious. It was like comical. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Where'd they go? Over there. Hey boys. I'm gonna use the wall here. Excuse me. Oh god, that attack. The rain, what? How'd that hit me? What the hell? Something hit me. I don't like that sword. <laughs> sword greatly bothers me. <laughs> okay. Oh god. I know I could dodge through it, but like man, I got chipped during it once. I don't know how or why, but I did. Pretty scary out here. 
I actually have a lot oh, of heals. I feel like I've cooked all their heals, but no, not yet. Let's have a little circuit I could run here. I saved his life. That as well. Okay, I'm getting out of here. That's too much AOE in that little vicinity. <laughs> Jump, you say. Scary. Jumping, that is scary. They <laughs> have so much FP. Also, Okimin, thank you so much, man. I have to read that. He's got a perfume going. I don't know what that does. Hold up. Hold up. We're going to play the long game here. I feel like I've melted so many of their heals, but they keep healing. Uh, if I were to make an invasion build at 90, what max should I upgrade? I would say go plus 7 somber and plus 17 regular. As if you dodge that. So sad. Uh, he looks like a spear user, right? So we, oh, there's someone else behind me, though. Hold up. Hold up. This guy with his uh, double daggers. We're low on heals. Kind of have like a field advantage here, but we gotta play it right. As long as he doesn't have more of those giant ashes of war, like the the AOE ones, we should be chilling. Okay, yeah, they're right behind me. So we got a halberd user, a great sword, and the guy with the shield. Um, this is kind of like a better area to fight. I don't know how I missed that unfortunate. Oh! Ah, you're out of FP. You were trying to bait me into an honor fight. Dishonest. <laughs> I would have done it. I would have done it. But not now. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> okay. If we have grass here, we can run around with. How do you sprint and open the menu? Hold sprint and then open the menu. Glad I found Hang on, my nose it just this bush is my cover right now. So we're getting we're getting some regen mildly right now, which is nice. Doesn't do much damage, but slowly chipping down my regen. I think he's hoping for like a headshot. You did save him right there. <laughs> Wow, they actually killed everything in the map. I'm surprised. That's a lot of work. Oh. 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 What was that damage on that death blade? Holy. I did so much damage. Okay, I really need to one-shot kill one of them. Impressive, really. Holy. Um, okay, they haven't gone over here. These can kind of be a distraction for me. That's good. That's good. That's huge. That's the guy with the thing. They have like endless FP too. This is getting difficult for sure. Where's the guy with the dagger? Actually, I'd rather fight you. You're the one I want to fight the most. Let's come here. I can isolate him for a second. Ah, oh, no, he's got this guy back him. Oh god, and he's laggy. Oh god. No, 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 no. Woo! Okay. Oonga boonga damage. Damn. Okay, maybe back to the Knight Rider Spear. Maybe the Lance. He's forgetting regen. Oh, man, they still, have, they still have so many heals. Okay. Yeah, in one to two hits, I will die, so... Gotta play this very carefully. I haven't really used an FP bar yet. That's nice. I'll take that. Big boy damage, though. They are smart for keeping together. I'm trying to, like, isolate them. This one's the early. If he gets to me fast, he, I don't think he will. I must have six fingers on each hand. I'm kind of clawing the controller right now. This is, this is needed for this fight. They're aggressive. <laughs> My nose itches severely. I wish I had an extra hand, to be honest. Okay, he's... Ah, they're not, they're not very far from each other. I need some way to split them. I can't take a forced trade from three people. Um. Yeah, they're too close. Shit. Oh, well, I know where I can go. 
This is one of those long invasions. Yeah, they happen sometimes. Oh, yeah, one just kind of separated because he's busy. Nice. If I could get this guy... Uh, nah. He's got his teammates coming. Oh, shit. That was a good shot. Gotta hand that to him. Oh, that hit me. Might be the death of me here. Oh, I'm dead. I'm alive. How am I alive? I have no idea where this map goes. Oh, <laughs> GG, boy. It's, <laughs> it's so dark in here. I can't see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know this map. It's so dark in that cave. I thought that was a wall. GG, though. That was a fun fight. <laughs> Very fun fight. Oops, didn't mean to bow. Yeah, it was a fun one. That was like one of the longer invasions. I need to learn that part of the map and we'll be chilling. Yeah, it's so dark. What do you think about putting the light on the hotbar? Hmm, maybe I'll do that. The lantern might have been a good call, yeah. If I would have known where I was going, I could have like escaped. And wave of gold hit me, yeah. Still amazed they had FP. Me too, man. They had so much. They definitely were very high level. It's interesting when you kill one of those and you see the amount of souls you get. You can tell what level they are. Uh, I play on 1080p. But I record, I record in 1080 as well. But I can upscale it for the stream. It ends up looking a lot better. On YouTube anyway. If, yeah, you're right. I can maybe put it up there. I don't use Torrent when I invade anyway. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe he was getting it back from some of the kills. Oh, I was kind of hoping to reinvade them, but I guess not. Maybe if I move here. Uh, oh yeah, I only stream on YouTube, yeah. I just make the difference because uh, Twitch doesn't let you stream in 1440p, so. Yeah, they're probably not taunt or tongued. Oh, sorry, they're probably the only team here. Okay, I guess we move to a different area and it's not letting me invade them. I could try, man, I wish the castle got better invasions. The ones we have where we actually fought were really good. Uh, Melania was kind of a hard boss the first time I fought her. I was stuck on her for a couple hours. When I went through with my, like, PvP character after, though, I, I kind of knew what I was doing. And I also had a Rivers of Blood. Because <laughs> I had a bleed build, so. Try the sewers at this level? We could try the sewers. You think this area would be the most popular, though? I mean, it's like end game. You're like level 140, you know? I don't know. I don't get many here. Kind of sad. Have you been having connection issues? It's weird that you get some in, I don't know. I feel like areas shouldn't cause disconnects, but I've heard that. Where'd you say to go though? Um, I was talking too much about the Halleck tree. I could try knock Stella again. Yeah, we'll definitely go back to 138 next stream because there's been way too little, way too much downtime between finding an invasion. Or 80. That <laughs> chased the foe. That's funny. Oh yeah, sewers. You guys said sewers. I'll go there next. Uh, Anthony, is my highest level character 140? No, I tried 150 out as well. 150 was my highest level character. Yo, parkour. There we go. Wait. Nova. Oh, I think Nova's a viewer because I've, I've fought them a bunch of times. They're always alone though. 
Uh, do you sacrifice any main stats to go from 150 to 138? No. I don't really need, like, s over 60 damage, but I don't know where else to put it at this level, so I just put it in there, you know what I mean? Hello there, Nova. How are you? Ah, uh, here, I'll use my buff. Get your buff going. Um, what do we... You know what, let's use this a bit. I've been enjoying this. Rock throw. Rock throw is fun. I don't think you could jump the rocks. I don't think so. <laughs> Fun fight though, Nova. That's an interesting build. I guess it's like a faith build. Faith build with uh, the Cypher Pata? Yeah, I always forget the name of that weapon. Uh, well, no amount of poise lets you tank a great spear. It's one of the, like, the best things about them. Oops, hope I didn't hit one of you guys with that. I think I got the bot. We're good. Oh yeah, you said sewers, right? Um, underground, rotate. Bots getting out of control, yeah. They're, they're pretty popular on YouTube sometimes. I don't know why. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> It's actually really good though, Eclipse, man. Like, look at its damage output. 726. Higher than the Lance by quite a lot. It's a very good weapon. It, it just falls a little short because its Ash of War is terrible. Yeah. And Brandon, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Glad I found your streams and vids. Yeah, I don't know why. I, sorry, I must have been in that longer invasion when I missed that. <laughs> uh, Thank you, man. Yeah, my reading is... Uh, yeah, the Ash of War. Oh, Rykar's Ash of War. I'm confused. <laughs> Thank you so much, though, Brandon, dude. Sorry, I missed that. Just just yell at me if I ever do. Uh, why don't I press L1 on the map? Because it's always usually where I am anyway. Let's see? It's like all those, the places I go. It's usually by the Grace Point. Ooh! Safu! Hey, listen, we have the same weapon, let's go! Get your buff on! I can use the buff, you crazy. That does so much damage, what the? Fun fight, man. <laughs> Wait, hey, what's this thing's AR when it's buffed? 844. 844, what? <laughs> Alright. Well, <laughs> that explains that. Oh, did he have lower, low vigor? I didn't see his HP amount. <laughs> Why don't people invade higher, like 180, 200? Because it's. I, they want to keep PvP in an easy to get through bracket, right? It takes quite a bit of time to get your character to level 200, not to mention you don't need all those levels for a build. Like, a PvP build needs kind of like one main focus and you can have like a, a slight off focus, or you can have an even amount of two. Like, at 140, look at my stats, like I'm, I'm above, I have 70 strength, I'm extremely tanky. I have HP, like if I were to invest things in faith, it would just be for things I don't really need. Like some like you know, scenario spells, whereas if someone wanted to max out their damage, they could go to like 80 strength, you know, so like split builds are a little bit always at, like no matter what level you are, you can always optimize better for like pure builds, I think. Even at higher levels, if I got 80 strength, my damage would be pretty crazy. I kind of do with my flask, yeah. And you want to be able to invade people in the game at like a certain area and play through, right? So. Even at 120, the damage is pretty high. Like, you can see when I'm hitting someone right now, I'm doing like a third of their HP, which is... You know what they need to do? They need to just uh, scale up health, in my opinion. That would help a lot if they aren't going to, like, lower the damage output of the game. Especially the uh, Ashes of War. Because the Ashes of War definitely do the most damage. They need to tune up the HP. Yeah, 150 is okay. It's basically 125 with the potential to have, like... 20 more damage stats so it's like it's more damage than health ratio you know what i mean like at meta you're kind of not doing that much damage to health ratio 150 has a little bit higher of that
Yeah, 150 you can manage anything at, man, for sure. I don't even know where I'd put my points, like... I'd have 80 strength, I guess. That's it. <laughs> and then my build would kind of be complete. Everything else from there would kind of be, like, not upping my damage or survivability, so... Um... What did you say? Oh yeah, we try it. We could try more of the underground. Sorry, I left there just out of habit. It would, man. NLM. If they don't want to like try to balance each weapon's damage, then uh, at least giving us a higher health pool would help. But more HP makes the game a bit easier, though. Well, I mean, like you mean the PVE of the game? Once you know what you're doing, the PVE is pretty easy. People beat it so level one already. You know what I mean? Untouched, like easy, subjective. It's going to be hard for everybody on their first playthrough. But you could also, uh, well, yeah, the other the other thing is make the damage different in PvP, but I don't know if they'll do that. Hello there. Cooking pot? You know I can attack too, right? <laughs> I'm not just standing here. Hey there. Woo! I don't know the range of that wizard attack. Let's get the stitcher going a little bit here. This guy seems like he wants to play. I gotta watch out for the wizard though. The wizard definitely will do good damage because they have no health, so that means they put it somewhere. And that means it's in their damage though. <laughs> Just kind of attacking the air. I don't quite know the range on that. Ha <laughs> got eaten. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't see the rivers of blood. Alright, I really need to kill one straight up then. Oh, I didn't hit him. Unfortunate. Come on, Rivers of Blood. Actually, you know what? I got the tool for the rivers. The pebble is the wizard counter. Or the... Not the wizard counter. The fucking... Rivers counter. Oh, that would be the one that has the most HP. <laughs> okay, I need to kill the wizard. Oh, that can hit me. Oh boy. That's the most annoying thing. <laughs> the constant wizard chip damage. No. No. His bloodhound stuff, right? Oh, I am bleeding, so there's that. Get aggressive on me. Come here, souls. One guy died. Perfect. Oh, the host died, man. Ah, he had bloodhound stuff on it. Fun fight, though. Too bad they couldn't kill that. Uh, I'm using the strength boost tier, and I have the uh, regen me when I'm low health tier. This area is interesting. Uh, I guess this is near where Moog is underground. Can't really invade there, can you? Um, 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 I really want more Noxtella, but no one's there. Yeah, I tried a bit, Mike. I wasn't getting any. I can go back. If you guys have a, a good uh, set of grace point. Yeah, I know what's... Man, where... Okay, I'm going to go to Framazula. What's the best one at Framazula? I tried here, didn't get one. Um, Dragon Temple? I never get any at the lift, but I really want to fight here. Oh yeah, Stormvale. You guys mentioned Stormvale. Oops, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Radon's fun house. I'm okay with some of the Framazula area, but I, I don't find them sometimes. It's kind of a maze. Oh, I actually got an invasion here? Wow, it's huge. I've never I've never invaded in this exact spot. No one's ever here. 
Oh. Hey, boys! Hey. Hey, holy. Wait. You must have a teammate, right? Not all alone, right? Can't tell. Oh, he's cheating! <laughs> How did I not notice that? I did a thousand damage to him and it didn't touch his HP at all, right? Or am I crazy? Hang on, let me see. Let me see. Oh my god! Holy dude! Wow! <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. I'm not crazy. I was wondering, I was like, yo, that miracle did way too much damage for what it was. This is pointless. Why would I even... <laughs> Dude, the death. Use bleed. Oh, yeah. I guess I could try the bleed. I mean, it's not like I could really stop him from infinite casting, though. He's just gonna do that forever and I die. He's got infinite FP, too. Oh, he's. Why is he bothering to drink his FP? That's weird. Like what? Like look at him. He knows he's mortal. <laughs> what is this health? Why? Why do you do this? <laughs> Why do this to yourself? <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> Even if this was a mini boss, this is excessive. <laughs> There's no way. That is the craziest health bar I've ever seen to date. <laughs> I don't know if they're going for some mini boss type thing. I doubt it because they were just using regular weapons. But why? Why? <laughs> why? It's funny though. Just why? I, I don't know if that would be very fun to do. I don't. I feel like you just steamroll the game, right? He passed the vigor check, dude. He stole everyone else's. <laughs> That's where everyone's vigor went. He has it all. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Well, you practiced the blade. What even levels your vigor? Like in real life, he's trying to make a meme, but I have no idea what you would say to that. Hey, boys. I only got one shot, one opportunity. I almost took it. Did my cannon shot just jump off his back? Excuse me while I just go this way. Oh no, not this death pit again. Oh no. Where? Left. Alright, I see that I can run this way. It's dark in here. Where's my light? Ah. I need the light. Stop, calm down, calm down, calm down. <laughs> calm down. Help! I'm blind! Oh! Hey, wizard! Curry fries. Yes. Oh, yellow crab summoned. Oh, god. Alright, boys. What do we do here? I feel like this wizard has a obscene amount of casts, Mr. Wizard. I miss co- Oh, invaders. I, I agree. Sometimes, like, the distraction is very helpful. Okay, I'm just steady trying to figure out where I'm going. Oh, here, okay. Not having a land. I know, what a failure. I need to get near the wizard. Oh, I'm dead, possibly. Oh, maybe now. 
Woo. Convenient time for a blue to spawn. <laughs> right when I'm getting moon veiled. Okay. At least that thing is tanky. Look at them just destroy it. Straight destruction with that wizard. Come here, wizard. Wait, where? Oh. At least those are slow. You can outrun those. Clueless blue. <laughs> he just comes in. <laughs> I mean, does the wizard even have HP, I wonder? I feel like they just go in all FP. We need to not be in the cat air um, hallway. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> My eye waters a little bit. We're good. Hey, wizard. It was just me and you. It was just me and you, wizard. It'd be a different story. Or the blue. At least there's enemies here to like distract them for like dude, this guy has been non-stop casting. This wizard has not stopped. The FP life though. <laughs> wizard died in two milliseconds while he was aggroed. It's funny. Well now my invasion's a lot easier. <laughs> Just got normal. <laughs> okay, let's go with the Baymore. Hey, Blue. Without the wizard, you're in trouble. Goodbye, Blue. <laughs> Dude has a lot of mind. You're not wrong. He's going to try to moon veil me. I want him to. This is just physical defense, but you know. Hey, Stinky. Me and you now. Come on. You would moon veil right then. <laughs> it's like, I will moon veil once again. You could heal. It's okay. I don't mind. I know you need to wait. Summoned. Whoa. Hold up. Who got summoned? And where? Fuck. Okay. Zoro. You need to go, Zoro. You're not welcome here. I've already dealt with enough wizardry and moon veiling. You must take your leave, Zoro. Hey, Stinky. I'm on my way. Hey, me and you, Stinky. Me and you. The Lance versus... You know what? No, we'll go jump attack. No. Moon veil. Router. Router. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Excuse me, Stinky. <laughs> How do I combat? What? Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. You would have the, the power of God and anime on your side. You would. You already have a moon veil. What do you need? Okay, buddy. <laughs> Just tanked my lance to the face, hit me four times, and then took the damage. <laughs> and then instant transmit Kamehameha Blast from the katana. <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh my god. Sometimes, man. Sometimes. <laughs> it's crazy out here. He had the power of god in anime. Be like leg switch, yeah. Possible. Definitely possible. Uh, with a short bow that lets you... Oh, is it like the same bow issue that Dark Souls 3 had? I haven't seen it yet, Eclipse, no. But I've heard of it. I just I wasn't sure if it was very similar. I just help people with Melania. I don't know how interesting that would be, but... It could be fun. I'm more Halig tree, man. Uh, yeah, you can buff the damage of uh, enemies around you, Boris, with an item from Moog's Great Rune, but it lowers your overall HP, so I don't personally like that trade-off. Especially in Elden Ring compared to the other Souls games, I feel like the enemy density is a lot lower. Like, depending on the area you're in, so it's not always useful. 
Oh yeah, you can trade items to any friend you want, uh, Fottle. You just need to make sure, well, you don't need to make sure, just if you try to give someone a weapon that is too high of an upgrade for what they own on their character, you're not gonna get it. You won't be able to pick it up. I have the Great Epia as well. Right there. <laughs> if I need to use like a bleed set up with a shield. It's only 10%. I mean, that's kind of a lot though when you have 2000 HP, you lose 200. I don't know how much it buffs the enemies though. I'd have to try it and compare. But I'm a little bit squishier than normal because I'm using the trick mirror for fun today. So I, I wouldn't use it today. Uh, oh, am I running the wrong way? This character is 140. Yo, anime! Thank you so much, dude. Aw. Honestly, yeah, you know what? Video games are a great outlet. Especially with friends. Streaming makes it way more interesting for me as well, to be honest. So thank you guys for enjoying it. Chatting. Game theory, Robert, playing, going through a hard time all better with friends. A lot to keep my mind off things. Appreciate you and keep up the good work. Thank you, man. Anime lover, I appreciate it. Got any animes to suggest? Kind of running low. Where is this guy? This one? Hmm. Can you be up there? No. Ah, I... uh, yeah. So what me and my friend lost it is we both like took the time. I had an arcane character, so I was farming a lot. Uh, and he was farming some things that I didn't have. That way we can trade each other the things that we were missing. I'm still missing a lot, though. I by no means have all the weapons yet. I'm still trying to figure out where to get some of them. <laughs> I'm uh, farming, looking through the wiki for the location. Uh, oh, not this way. Oh, he's all the way at the bottom? Damn. Or is he? Wait. No, he's not. He is. Wait. Oh! I forgot I could do this. This doesn't look like a lip. Oh! dodge on him, to be honest. You guys don't see me at all. <laughs> I'm coming down. I've been doing enough cannon memes. I'm on my way. That guy seems to have a lot of health. Hello there, Guido. And the other guy is the tanky faith build. Well, I said tanky, but... I mean, he's got regen. Nice. <laughs> That'll do. Um, let's try this. I want to see the damage I'll put on it. R2. Wow. Severe. It's pretty good. I was trying to backstab that. I don't find that to be the best dash of war. <laughs> you just kind of roll by it. But fun fight, Mr. Wizard. Yeah, 1600 HP wasn't tanky. He was just regen -y, I guess. Tanky. <laughs> nope. He <laughs> looked tanky at a glance. Hmm. Okay. Not so bad. Uh, do we go for another castle soul? Man, I don't know. Honestly, some of the best invasions have been in the Mogwin area. Am I weird for liking this? <laughs> it's really, it's really good. It's been really cool here. Uh, I'm at 400-ish, Johnny, when I checked for the stream earlier. <laughs> Probably just cra or like pass it today at the end of the stream. Yeah, it was Mr. Uh, a good cat. I've been trying out weapons and seeing which ones work. Uh, you can get an R1 of most things off. This thing's R2 works though. So that's good damage, especially since I have like 777 or 778 AR. It's pretty good. Um, I'm still trying out weapons. I don't know what else I could use for Storm Stomp. That might be cool. Claymore gets an R2 as well. That's why I was like, okay, I'll just try R2 with some weapons. You don't get it on like an Ultra, obviously. It's, it's, it's slower, but... 
Do I have rivers of blood? Not on this character, no. <laughs> For good reason. Uh, okay, let's try here. Yeah, Chris, it is. That's what I'm, I'm gonna get upgrade next. I got one, I just gotta upgrade it all the way now. Sure. Oh, do you mean like the the dude that was had like a billion HP? <laughs> yeah, I think he had. I don't know what he was using. Yeah, like a few weapons. The dude that was cheating. Yo, Kaylin's actually pretty active, for like. Yeah, I'm surprised. Okay, maybe we'll do more Kaylin at this level. Uh, I haven't done like much with faith builds yet, Brandon. Those are all faith uh, daggers, so I have to make a faith build for that. Well. At least, like, Dex Fate ish. Excuse me. Moses again. <laughs> this wasn't the cheater dude, right? No. I think Moses was normal. Uh, these are all mostly the same character, Neil. I just reallocate the character. I only have uh, one other character that's fully done the game, and it's my uh, astrologer. And he doesn't have many weapons, because it's just pure magic. This has been like my character that's been gathering everything basically. And then the other one I'm running through now is for faith, but I'm not done it yet. Oh, this is a far spawn point. Yeah, the perfume's pretty good. There isn't really like a strength build perfume, correct? Oh, this is the guy with the door. I feel aw. 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 Moses, I'm gonna give you a gift because I invaded you earlier. And I, uh. What can I even give you? I can't give rune arcs, man. That's so sad. Uh. <laughs> you know what? I'll give you a bow and I'll let you be. Yeah, this is the second time I invaded this poor guy and he's all alone. <laughs> I'd give you gifts if I could give you rune arcs. Just in, in your heart, know that. For the, for the cosplay of whatever you're doing. Um, okay, we can try near Celia Town. You can drop Starlight Shards. Oh. Oh, yeah, you can. That's right. It's weird, because you were able to drop Embers in Dark Souls 3. So, I find it strange that you can't drop the... Not that I'm complaining, but like... Oh, <laughs> you're right. I forgot. Dude, I... Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's go, Moses. Let's go. I forgot that you can't invade. What can I use that's kind of balanced for him then? <laughs> this, I suppose? I don't know. What if we, we kind of hit him with the frostbite last time, so that's a little bit excessive. We won't do that again. It's a little bit too much. Oh, he's so weak, though. Like, his health, you know? Like, it's not enough to make up for... I get what he's going for, you know, with the madness procs, because, like, the phantom hits. It's pretty hard to do, though. I, I appreciate you. Only the fingerprint shield is tough. Like, shield poking with it, that's rough. But, like, just using the shield, that's it's pretty counterable. Shield that. Oh, I could have. Ah, uh, no, that wouldn't go very well. I don't have a madness shield. The only shield I keep on me is the, the lighter one. The the madness one's too heavy for my build currently. Because of the fit. The outfit is a bit rough with some of the heavier objects. Could try Gale Tunnel. Up here, maybe. Let's try up here. Yeah, he's doing great for fighting with a shield. Damn. Uh, I use the Celebrant's Crete lever a little bit. Not much. Uh, Arknet. It's R2 is really cool. That's really... Oh yeah, Stormvale. You really think we'll get any? I'll try. What part of Stormvale though? Like near le left, left side chamber, near Godric. Um... That's 
tough. I'd actually love to invade in here though. Without being level like 30. I do not want to be level 30. Yeah, my stats, no problem, man. There you go. The middle grace? This one? Near the tower bridge? I guess people might go there. I've never tried that. Oh yeah, maybe Raya Lucaria as well. Could try that. Let's go here. Can I even invade here? Oh, instant. Weird. Why not the rest of the castle? I am confused, but okay. Cool. Yeah, it can it can build the madness quick for sure. Remastered DLC. <laughs> what? Is that what we're hoping for? Nice. I don't get invasions here ever. It's nice. Hello, son, bro. Glorpo. Um, let's do a little bit of. This. I don't use this much. Let's go with the axe. Hey guys. Remastered DLC. Hello. Hello. Walk into this. Well, he did, and it hurt him. So he learned. Well, there's the sun, bro. <laughs> that Ash of War could be excessive when people aren't expecting it. Oh, he's got rivers of blood. Okay. Oh, he hit me out of the air. You dare hit me in the air? Remastered? Oh, I have an idea. Oh, really? I think that was a good time, Perry. Tried to go for the dual wield hit. Can't get bledded though. Bledded. Can't get blood. Loss. Back up. Back up and heal. Wanna play. Little game. Don't run into a fully charged R2. That's not that's not the best. Stomp! Oh he's oh he's going for the resum? Maybe not. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. We have fun times ahead here. Oh, you're gonna die. You gotta heal. There you go. Yes. Come in. Come in for the running L1. I know you want to. Do it. Do it. Okay, I'll give you incentive. I'll poke the air. Oh, he didn't go for the follow up. Okay. Oh, he's out of health. No. Heal. Heal. There we go. I think when I hit him, a lot of the time he trades out of it. No? Okay, now I'm just a parry king. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll let you die a peaceful death. <laughs> ah, he's got 2 HP. Oh, I'll flame. There you go. Fun fight, man. Yeah! <laughs> he didn't go for the L2 at all. I honestly was expecting his do wheel swings, but he kept not doing it. He kept not doing it. He wasn't your average R1 attacker, an L1er. He was not. Yeah, why didn't he use the... I mean, I would have liked him too, but I'm surprised he didn't. You reject L2, embrace R2. That sounds like a good time to me. Let's try Rampart Tower. Oh yeah, maybe he was out of FP. No, he, I think he used it once and he had FP, so... I am not sure. How do I never fat roll? Because I make sure that my weapon that is the heaviest on my build will not cause me to fat roll. That's how I optimize my way load. Oh. Don't these usually break? This is good luck. I 
Flame of Red Man. Yeah, I have it on my uh, dismounter. I do have it though. Let's see. Let's go with. I don't know. At least we got one limb grave invasion. I'm not gonna complain at that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, well, currently Dark Souls 3 doesn't even have the online on PC anymore, so... Until they fix that, you can't even play on PC. Yeah, I try Castle Soul quite a lot. Um, we can try it again, but I get sent home. Because I go into the boss fog every time. But I'll give it some love. We got one really good one here, actually. And then a few people just, like, running away to the boss. Dark Souls 1 still works? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, you can play them offline, I guess. Regardless, right? Uh, but... To have the same four weapons, but different weapon arts? Yeah, you could definitely do that, Peter. <laughs> or Petra. Petra. That, that would really confuse people. Definitely a funny build to do. I, I, yo, I was at Mogwin Palace the most today. I actually like it a lot. Ooh, actually in the castle. This is unheard of. Ah, uh, but they're opposite the boss door. Uh, ooh. That's a long trip, but I gotta go around. Yeah, you can still you can still do any of the mod runs on the old Dark Souls, like on PC, until they fix up the servers. That's true. Yeah, yeah, no problem, man. There you go. Got you guys. Aw, yeah, see, that happens a lot, too. The fights here are cool, though, when you can get them. Have I tried the Sword of Milos? Is that the one that heals you slightly? Uh, depending on if you kill an enemy or not? I think I did. What's underground here? Nothing. Um, the snow area. Consecrated can be good. Uh... What was the one you guys told me to try? Xamar Runes, was it? For the first one? I guess that's Xamar Runes. How much poise do you have? I have 62. 62 poise. It's a pretty cool looking area. Try to find one here. Uh, is Knight Rider's Glaive or Golden Halberd better damage-wise? I, I haven't really compared them on, like, dedicated builds, but the Knight Rider Glaive seems to be the hardest-hitting strength, like, only, uh, Glaive. You know what I mean? Whereas the, uh, the Golden one has faith requirements. This, this is just pure strength, so. No, it just depends on what level you invade at. This level's a lot slower. Everywhere I try. Uh, what's been the most consistent today? Honestly, Mogwin Palace. <laughs> really strange, but it has. I've gotten the most invasions there today. Specifically the Dynasty one, I think. Damn, I jinxed it. We'll try the 133 version of the build maybe next time, or 138. See if it gets better. But I'm committed to 140 today. Yeah, if you want instant invasions and you guys just want non-stop combat, go anywhere from like 70 to like 80 will get you the most, I feel like. Most like variety around the map anyway. 70 to 80, I get like all this, all this, all this. I get like all of Landell, I get all this. Somewhat, somewhat Lyernia, depends. Um, not any Limgrave though. This area is pretty cool actually. It's got decent variety of like levels to it. It's okay. These get in my way though, I'm not gonna deny. I sometimes get stuck on these zombies. Altus Plateau we can try more as well. Altus seems pretty cool. Oh god. Blood. Hello there, Pete. Pete Pete. Um I haven't done any dueling today, and against the wizard I'm down. Alright, Pete. Let's go, Peter. You're a wizard, aren't you, Harry? I saw your wizard juices. <laughs> oh, he's got the fun hammer at least, though. <laughs> yeah, Frostbite can be so strong on strength builds. Kill. 
Und bei Pete Beat. Bitte, 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 bitte. <laughs> Did you, I mean, he's Runark. I feel like he's a uh, taunter. He's taunter tongue too, so he wants to be invaded at the very least. Um, where did I say I was gonna go? <laughs> Guys got me blanking now. Oh yeah, the ancestral woods. I wanted to try once more too. I just have a range for magic. I saw you had a magic staff. I tend to use spears against wizards. Hey, thank you, uh, Icepur, Peace Cyper. Oh, man, I can't read. <laughs> thank you so much, though. It's a, it's such an awesome game, though, to be honest. It helps it a lot. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, given if you're trying to invade, you're gonna invade people around the same level and weapon level as you. So, at no point are you gonna be like, you know, severely OP. If the host dies in two hits, the host didn't level HP. Like, you can only invade down 9% of your level, I think, in Elden Ring, not 10% like Dark Souls 3. So, I can only invade down like 13 levels, roughly. And I can invade up like 20 plus 10 or something. I think the range is for Elden Ring, so I can evade up to like 174, 175. So most of the time you're fighting people higher level than you, I guess is what I'm getting at. So yeah, it's pretty balanced. And the fact, well, I mean, it's balanced in terms of the person being invaded, right? Because they are being invaded. So they have teammates and stuff. You have to use the level to your advantage. Um, I see you guys. Hello there. I know this, does this twig belong? Nope, twig doesn't belong. Hey guys, aww. Give me the moon veil treatment. Do it to me. What's going on back there? I don't like what's happening over there. Wait, is there a third one? I hear some shit. Is that my own footsteps I hear? <laughs> okay. All right, there's a wizard and what's... I sense a third frame, but I'm gonna commit. I'll commit to you. Okay, I'm dumb. <laughs> that was my own bad entirely. <laughs> Come here, Melania. I thought that went forward more. Turns out it doesn't. <laughs> uh, that's fair, that's fair, man. That's fine. I don't know what that does. Oh, is that the Moog thing? I, I don't. I get it. I sort of get it. I don't get it all entirely. <laughs> you trying to confuse me? <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. I don't get the cosplay, but yeah, right, we fight you with a scythe on you. Seemed like he had a good time. We'll give him that. What do you have? You're a wizard, but you have some extra stuff, huh? Oh. Ooh. He's fast. Let's run to the side to dodge these. Kind of angle ourselves to dodge those. Wizard. Wizard. Oh. Uh, honestly, I feel like that. Oh, that actually kind of got faster. I don't know how strong it is, though. Hey there. <laughs> Wizarding all about. Oh, okay. That frost bit them mid step. Fight, fight, Mr. Wizard. Uh, I didn't use it too much in the other stream, and I wanted to have a few more things down here, like my cannon and the Urcher Great Shield. Uh, might put it back, though. I liked having the lightning on it. I feel like I'm lacking that now. <laughs> I was just testing some uh, stuff out, but I like it. Okay, let's try a few more in the beginning of Limb Grave over there.
Uh, well, I played a lot of the other Souls games, so I know, like, the type of builds you can make. That's really it. There's, like, Strength decks, you know, in Faith. Those are the base ones, and then you can just mix it up. You got blends of Strength Int, Dex Int, Dex Faith. Different weapons on each, so, like, whatever. You, you, you gotta try them all out to really know what your favorite what type of weapon and gameplay is, I guess. I think my favorite is Strength for me, the way I play. It was like that in Dark Souls 3 as well, so makes sense. Being a wizard in this, though, is very fun. I'm not even going to deny. I liked I liked my uh, wizard. It was a good time. The scythe is cool. I think this one has the best strength scaling as well. Even on Frostbite, it gets a C in strength compared to the other. Uh, what are the other two scythe names? There's a Halo one. That's a Faith one. There's, like, the standard scythe. I think that's better for pure decks, like higher dex amounts. But uh, A lot of spears work. Uh, pure. Really, anything Frostbitten will work for you in dex int, which is kind of cool. As long as it's a dex-oriented weapon to start with, it's going to have good dex in scaling with Kara Frostbite, so... That's probably the strongest way to use Frostbite. Donut! Hello, Donut! Alone? Alright, Donut, we buff weight. I always hear weird sound effects. Oh, me too, me too. Let's go. We eat our... Eat our crab. Oh, he's... He's just multi-eating. <laughs> okay. I take off the bubble. You gotta earn my bubble. I'm like, I'll let you earn it. <laughs> ah, that would've been really cool. I'm depressed that I didn't get that. The old DS3 backstab, man. This thing is like one of the only weapons with a combo as well. So it's kind of strong if you think about it. Although for him, because he's uh, hyper armoring it, it's not that big of a deal. Oh! oh I thought he died there. Yeah. Good dodge. I like him. Donut's doing well. I oh, should have stayed and pressured more. Why didn't you? That would have been so much better for you. Oop. Go with the Great Lance to finish it. There's a blue coming in and he's getting close. Wait, he's dying actually. What the hell is the blue dying to? <laughs> Fun fight, Donut. I was like watching the health bar. What the hell's going on over there? Yeah. A bear? Oh, maybe the bear. <laughs> You're not wrong. I forgot the rune bears are over there. Wait, that way? Yeah. That's really funny. Friggin' rune bears. But 87 damage? Was he poisoned? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, those bears hurt no matter what. They knock you down so quick, actually. They're pretty crazy. Yeah, he had good spacing with the Ultra. I liked it. Yeah, that's right. Well, I don't know. We're really high level. It depends on if they're New Game Plus in here or not. If the bear would do a lot of damage. Try a Gil South again. <laughs> That's true. When you happen upon a rune bear at like low level, you're like, what is this? What is this monster? True. I mean, there's still crabs in the game too. That's what's funny. Sure, they're the new crab, but they're, they're still crabs. And lobsters. Lobsters hurt kind of more, to be honest. I never get invasions down here either, and I would like some. I wonder what invasion or what level people are in this area at. The Weeping Peninsula. I got a few one time. I'm not sure, Chris. I haven't really. I have to do some testing with a uh, friend for the, the pokes and stuff of the two handed ultra. I don't think you can parry that, though. I've wondered. And I think most physical, like, regular attacks, like, oh, this is parryable, you know, this is parryable. Um, it's really the Ashes of War that I don't know what's parryable and what's not. That's something I have to test. New patch coming for us. When did they announce that? That'd be cool. I'm always down when they update stuff.
Wax Dust would be great though, or like something, like if you guys don't know what the Wax Dust is because you didn't play Dark Souls 3. It was like a mod that basically did the red eye orbing, or the, you know, the, the red finger here for you all over the game. So you didn't have to warp around yourself if someone was in your level range, you know? It cycled the areas naturally. It was perfect. <laughs> that would be one of the best additions to this game for DLC in my opinion. 100%. Brun! Hello, Brun! Hello? Let's do this. Oh. oh, flame, grant me strength. I don't know what to do here. He's got the axe of Godfrey, though. That's interesting. It's the range on it. That's pretty, that's pretty decent for an axe, you know? I'll give him that. That is a true combo if you do hit it. Oh my god. What is that damage I have? Is that 840 per swing? My... Yeah. Push that even further if you want it with this too. Yeah, they definitely could do with some more HP. You think 1600 is a lot in this? Because like in the other Souls games, that's enormous. Like you don't have 1600 HP much as an invader, but you need a lot more in this one. Try this bridge. Mix it up. Oh! Yo, we're getting kind of fast ones here. I'll take it. I take it. Yeah, and then uh, I throw on either the life ring or the the Earth Tree Favor flutter. That helps it to get even more HP. What the hell? Hello there. Vigor. Vigor. Exam. Hey, man. Hey! Hey. Got it. Okay. He's a big hammer boy. Try my hand at this. This is a good spear. Why does everyone call this a meme spear? It's good. <laughs> its damage is pretty high, man. I don't know why it's a meme spear. <laughs> Let's go, Vigor. Oh, oh, you want? Okay, sorry, sorry. Do it again. I get it. I get your meme. I get your meme. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can kill me. I want to see if I survive. <laughs> Alright. Guess I don't have enough vigor. Yeah, he's giving me a vigor exam. Well, shit. <laughs> I didn't pass. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> I failed the vigor exam. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that did a lot of damage actually. Hold up. What does that do? That means it did over 2,000. It's pretty good. Yeah, that hits for like two. That was over 2k. I gotta study harder. Shits. Shits. <laughs> that guy's actually funny. I hope I hope he's gotten some wholesome people actually doing that for him. That's that's worth. He put effort into that. They should reduce <laughs> I guess, I mean, that's not a good representation. I agree with you. They should reduce damage, but like, that was like a charged R2, you know? You kind of have to like, someone has to get hit by that. Not willingly, I feel like. Hello, Flatbeck. What do we got going on here? The, the Celebrant. Oh. Hello. Hey. Let's do it. I don't know what your build is. What is the Celebrant, by the way? It scales on what? Not strength or... I don't know what it is. It could be anything, I suppose. That's pretty good. Good damage. For what it is. <laughs> it's got a... What's always all hammers? Okay. That's a great hammer. That's, that's going to be interesting. I haven't really seen much of those. Oh, wild strikes. Okay. Does that add hyper armor of any kind? Or no? Dodge. He's keeping his pace. <laughs> That's going to be a hard one, I feel like, for him to land, to be honest. Uh, yeah, the hammer is a better. I don't know. I was going to say the hammer is a better choice, but. Oh, 
to dodge. I don't know. I don't know if you can make wild strikes that good. I mean, you could try, but I'm trying to see what he's going for mostly. Like he's trying to get a wake up with it, I guess, but it's not enough, I suppose. I don't know what we're going to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go with the go with the awesome staff. I think that has great roll catch potential. Actually, I'm with you. Let's do it. Um, or I'll use this one. Not the same weapon. Oh, <laughs> I just did something I didn't think was possible. Ah, uh, it stuns me. Unfortunate. <laughs> that would have been a great combo, though. Ah, uh, fun fight, man. Very fun fight. I like your spacing. Good dodges, too. Very fun. Yeah, it's really easy to reaction dodge the... Uh the, what is that called? The strike one? The flailing, like, strike one. Um, what else? We could, I, I guess I've tried here. We could try waypoint ruins. Hell, we're just trying everywhere. Oh, uh, well, not here, I guess, but, you know. Whee! Wild Strikes, that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, maybe. I guess if you're in a small area. Chiron, yeah. That's a... That's a tough one to use. How does the Split Leaf Ash of War work? Kind of like the old Split Leaf, but it doesn't like R1 into it like a combo. Ooh. Ow. Rude flower? Rude. Do I have a preference on strength versus dex? It's really just uh, a few weapons work on strength and the other ones work on dex because of their requirement. Um, I think I'm a little bit more impartial to strength because I, like I like the lance and the lance isn't the best. Well, you need 20 strength. You could use it. What am I doing? Get into the menu. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try ancestral one more time. Uh, do you dodge sideways? Yeah, that's probably the best option. Uh, you can dodge away once to not get hit by the, the first hitbox, obviously, and then you can dodge, like, to the left. It'll probably miss no matter what if you do that. Unless you get really unlucky on the timing. Yeah, that's true of antics. We tried there as well before. Yeah. Yeah, the lance is great for chase downs. I like this thing. We're ready to be memeing on this, but like it's not good at AR. 726. It's got more than the lance. Can't ash of war it though, but hey. I've been enjoying it. Um, you say go here? I could try here. We didn't get much on the the White Lake area. Yeah, we could try the deep rot depths or deep root. Wait, which one's deep? Yeah, that's where I am. <laughs> I was gonna say deep root depths question mark. But we're here. Uh, there was like a tiny patch. It just fixed some like uh, bosses and PVE issues. Nothing to do with like any of the, the weapons, I believe. Chase down. Ha! <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, you can invade any new game. It doesn't really matter as long as you have the same level as them. Like, uh, weapon level-ish. There's a range for weapon level and weapons. Or, and, and level, sorry. Soul level. I mean, room level. Oh, they're actually on the branches. That's sick. Okay, nice. I don't get to invade here much. Cool. Wait, what? No way, someone already died. Oh, I almost fell. Thank you. Someone did die. <laughs> no! Oh, I need the range. Is it going there? <laughs> he just got knocked off on his own. It's okay. We'll just go in ourselves. Um, yeah. Mm. Uh, Matthias, can you try invading Raya Lucaria? Yeah, sure. The the school. I don't know if I'll get any, but we will try. 
I do love that area. Kind of got knocked down before I even got to do it. Um, I'm a little confused though. Can I jump on this? Yes. Let's take a mini stop here to like see where the thing is. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, how did you manage to get there? Oh, I know. I could just drop down here, right? Yeah. He said, hopefully. Hey there. Surprise. <laughs> hey. Hey. Let's go. Support. Oh, we could have used the cannon, but I mean, this is cool. I want to I wanna try to use this weapon a little bit more. I don't use it enough. And you get an R2 off of it. Like, look at that damage. It's pretty good. I almost jumped and then backstabbed. I tried really hard for that. But I failed. <laughs> That'd be cool. That's something I need to land at one point in my life. I want to jump someone's attack and backstab them. Yeah, he didn't have much health. That's for sure. What about the other part of the depths? Ah, no, casters are very good. If you watch uh, my pure caster stream, it does amazingly as well. I And I've done it at level 80 or level 150, like, whatever you like, you can make wizards work. Sounded like someone was right to my right. Hello. Hello there. Hiya! Hello. I'll give him a bow. Do you have someone hiding in a bush though? I just... I want to trust you. I do. I want to trust you. Here, I'll even have a... I'll even have a, a war with you with the greatsword. Ha ha ha. Okay, that was the coolest way to enter the fight. I'll give that to you. <laughs> Fun fight, hey y'all. <laughs> you had the coolest entrance I've ever seen, though. You front flipped into battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was seemed very good, actually. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed my pure sorcery build. Yeah, that range on that poke though, I honestly wasn't expecting it to hit him. It just kind of did. What about here? Yoshi, I always enjoy watching your streams. Keep it up, bro. Aw, oh, thank you, man. Uh, body piece of Xamar set. That can be a good fashion for you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, like, this fashion isn't forever, maybe. <laughs> I just like it because I have this poise break point and I like the Millennium. Helm. I also like the Blood Wolf Helm, though. Still not fully decided. It looks pretty good, though. For my melee character, this works. Because if it's a weight load. Um, also, the, the Banish Knight one looks pretty good, too. Not opposed to Banish Knight. I used that for a while. I always enjoy watching your streams. Keep it up, bro. Body yeah, if you hit that breakpoint, it's that pretty good. Be a good fashion for you too. What about like here? I've never invaded like right outside of uh, Godric. Thank you so much though, Yoshi. I'm going to play around with more fashions for sure. I'll have different ones for different builds maybe. Because this won't work with my wizard because I need certain ones for the wizard, you know? So. Oh, Raya Lucaria. You're right, you're right, you're right. The actual school, right? What about... What do you think is the better one? Schoolhouse or the debate parlor? Let's try Schoolhouse. It actually has like the elevator place and like a bunch of stuff in it. If we get here at 140, I'd be pretty happy because that is the only reason I thought level 70 was cool. Sometimes I got invasions here. There we go. Main entrance, you think? Like the beginning of it? Wouldn't that be like here? 
main entrance would go into the upstairs and then have the elevator. That might have a lot of people camping the elevator though. Yeah, I've been loving the claymore. It's been a good time. Pumpkin helm? I did use that a bit in my playthrough. Wasn't the best, but... Okay, let's try debate parlor. Debate is always better for you. Yeah, I think so. More people would summon there. It's kind of somewhat closer to the boss, I guess. So I could see that. Oh, oh I was hoping. Um, my favorite levels are 80 and 138. I know 138 sounds random, but if you're level 138, you invade people who are 125, which is like the lower end of what people will finish the game at if they want to stay at that meta level. And then people also like 150, so you hit up that whole player base. And then 80 just kind of hits up like everywhere. So I guess I'd say 80 overall for activity and 138 if you want to have a very powerful build and be finished. Easy to play through the game with, and then you have like an end game character. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get invasions here except for mid-level. I wish I did though. Why 80 instead of... Oh, you could do 70. Uh, I just feel like 80 is a little bit easier for people to like make their build at. I like 80 a little bit more as well. But yeah, 138 is better than 140 from our testing today. Let's go here. I think I'll, on my high level builds, I'll keep it 138. Yeah, 140 just misses the cut or misses the cutoff, Jordan. So like you uh, go down to 126. So there's a lot of players that like 125, and you miss them by like one level, <laughs> which is a pain. I just wanted to test it because people ask about 140 a lot, but it, yeah, it doesn't seem as good. Uh, I like seven, like plus seven on your somber weapons and plus 17 on your normal weapons for level 80. 133 goes down to 120, Luke, so you could do that as well. That's probably going to net you very similar to 138. I wouldn't say it's very different at all. Um, maybe... I could try the castle again. Yeah, and LM. I feel like that works. That works. Because then you're not like 30 levels under the people at level 150. You're like a mid-balance, but you're also not much above 125. Um, the matchmaking seems fine. Like, I haven't got kicked out a lot. Uh, Vine V? Or Vinev? Vine V. <laughs> uh, I don't know. My stability's been okay. My game's crashed a little bit since the update, though. Ooh, I actually got a Shaded Castle invasion. Wait, this is Mama again. Didn't we fight Mama uh, Smurf a long time ago? Weren't they here? <laughs> They're still here? <laughs> that was like four hours ago, but... There's no way. Maybe I invaded them somewhere else. Hold the meme! I actually hit it! Ah, that's cool. Cannon! <laughs> Cannon fun! Wait, where's that blue at? I actually want to be uh, hitting the Sunbro. I think tactically, if you were going for like optimal, you want to hit the Sunbro more because he has less HP overall. Wait, why is that that's firing so far? Wow. <laughs> Good. Where's the blue though? There he is. Little blue. Little boy blue. Hey, you came back. <laughs> It's like, wait, there was an explosion in the vicinity. Hold up. <laughs> You're nowhere safe, Blue. Oh, well. You may have found somewhere that is safe. <laughs> oh, that's funny. A. <laughs> Whoa, parkour. If there's a blue coming behind everyone else, I would have been a little bit more aggressive there. Ow, blue. Ow. Relax. I'll kill you shortly. Maybe. That great shield might might net me some problems. 
Oh no, not if he actually attacks. That's huge. Okay. Hey, Blue. You had a, ju you had a juice. Oh god. The other one's there. <laughs> With the Kamehameha Blast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Did that hit him? Hey, yeah. Okay, see what's going on behind me. Okay, I'll heal. He'll hit me once, and then I can go for the full trade. Commit for this. Might die. No, you missed me. But worth. Definitely worth. Blue dead. Blue dead. Blue dead. Okay, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna pull out the spears, because the... The double shield is difficult to deal with. It's out of FP. At least I can, I can trade procs through that. Which is pretty huge. Um... I'm gonna go back near that thing. There we go. <laughs> Tactics! I'm out of stamina. He'd be dead if he wasn't. Ow. Okay, there we go. I've been out of stamina for eons. <laughs> Hello there! Oh, this could be optimal. He's pretty aggressive. Yes. Yes. Go for the straight sword. Yes. Keep doing that. Block one of mine? Okay. Ah, uh, no. He knows I have plans for him. Come back here. Mama. Come back, Mama. No. <laughs> no. Giant hunt escorted with a sauce. Oh, he's so smart, actually, for not doing that. <laughs> okay. He didn't go for the spam at all. Oh, that would have been cool. <laughs> Good card counter. It's not gonna work a second time, though. On the trade. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I didn't hit him? Okay. I guess I have no choice but to stick to the guard break. Oh. Oh. A connection though. There we go, yeah. Frostbite's important. Fun fight, mama. <laughs> parry the counter. Uh, he's a little bit on the latent side. I don't think I was going to land a parry, to be honest. He took a lot of the hits late. That was one of those high ping fights. Hey, Goth, thank you so much. Giant Hunt is goaded with the sauce. It is. I think it's going to be on every build of mine, no matter what. It's just such good burst damage. You poke them with your big sword. Then they're like, oh shit, panic. You're like, oh. Also, this is like thumbnail worthy. The beauty. <laughs> I think we're gonna use that. You guys just you just you just picked out my thumbnail. <laughs> it's beauty. Unmatched. Uh Amarizzi, thank you so much. <laughs> Goodbye, mama. <laughs> yes, Matt. <laughs> old age cartoon network. You guys remember those really old shows? I don't know how old you are actually, but like did you ever watch Courage the Cowardly Dog? I was like a baby. Like I was so young, but I remember that show being so strange and then yeah um, opinions on line claw i've used that and the horaloo earth shaker uh in one stream particularly they're both very funny uh they have situations where they work really well hey wizard no one asked you no one asked for your input <laughs> stupid wizard <laughs> courage was the stuff of nightmares yeah so, so old though, jeez. It's on HBO, really? I've always wondered where some of those old shows would go to watch, because like, they were on Cartoon Network here, yeah. It's definitely, oh, Asaka, Asoka? Uh, 
Uh, this way? Can I jump this? Nice. Shortcut. We in. We are in. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't want to be in. Not, not what I just saw. No, no. Keep me out of that. That looks terrifying. Hello there. Ahsoka. Wait, why are you leading me here in particular? My my soul's t senses are tingling. I don't... I don't trust you. Oh, okay. Something to be said about that. Hang on, let me buff up then. Is he really alone? My trust meter is like... Ding, ding. ding. Like, why are you... Why are you in particular just running away? <laughs> what are we doing here? Anything? No? What? Oh dear lord! Get me out of here! Kill it! Kill it with fire! <laughs> Whoa! I heard it get hit over here. That was a ghost. That was the ghost of Elden Ring's past. Fuck! <laughs> he was running on air. You see that shit? That was that was something else. Uh, let's try here. Jedi latency trick. Yeah. What I found really interesting is they got hit by the storm stomp, but they were like still moving around in the air around me. Like I, I don't understand what happened. It's so weird. Poltergeist invasions. Kya. Yeah. Uh I would suggest if you want to go above 125, go 138. Because then you can still hit the player or the players at 125, but you still get to invade people at 150 as well. And it's only like a 10 or like 12 soul level difference on the downside. It's not too bad. Lena's rise. Nah, I wanted to try and get the dragon barracks here, but like I'm I probably will get spawned near Lena's rise. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Jeremy, no problem, man. There you are. That's what? That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Okay. Um, where are they? Behind me. Huh. Uh, yeah, I think 130 should evade up to 150, right? Yeah, it should. I don't know if there's any like fully trustworthy algorithms yet, but I've been going by the one that everyone's been talking about, so. There's like the wiki one that talks about it. There's a few and they all have the same algorithm, so. Wait, uh, Shadow Lily, are you alone? Ha! I went to jump for fun! I didn't mean to jump your attack. Hold up, Shadow Lily. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. You know what? I'll, I just want to see the max damage we can pull out here on this, so let's do this. I, I'm intrigued. I don't think we got them in the counterattack frames. I wish you could turn that around fully. Man, yeah, daggers are so hard to use. Anybody with poise is just gonna trade you. It's funny because compared to Dark Souls 3 where like daggers were so good. They are just so not. If you have poise here. Yo, the same max. That's awesome, man. Honestly, yeah, I started my channel as like a hobby. Uh, I just uploaded like Fight Club things and builds at the beginning. Uh, actually, I did, I did more streams on Twitch at first. To upload my first for, like, YouTube video. I'm just battles in Dark Souls 3. Thank you. Uh, thank you, man. Yeah, just keep at it. You know, upload when you can. At first, as like a hobby. If it starts netting something, commit to it. It's my best advice for it. Uh, well, it's not about like trading once. So like a dagger does a certain amount of poise damage, right? So let's say I have uh, my 62 poise here. When you hit me with a dagger, that minuses 
whatever the poise damage is from the dagger, and you need to like hit more and complete the 62, if you know what I mean, to poise break me. So if a dagger did 31 poise, you'd have to hit me twice. I think maybe the third one would poise break me. I'm not sure if it's always the exact number or one above it. That's why I always go one above what people recommend for the most part. Uh, let's try East Capital. Thank you so much though, man. Hope it goes well for you. With my 20 poise character, I feel like fighting dual daggers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So like, um, after someone hits me with a two-handed katana, because it does 55 poise damage, I have six left. So like, anything else at that point is going to poise break me, basically. So I tell people to aim for the poise they want to trade a weapon once with. That's like the best way you can oh, build it without having ridiculous amounts, like full bull goat with like the poise ring. Oh. <laughs> These names. <laughs> well, since I'm the second invader here, I'm just going to meme. Sorry, Red. I did do more damage to him, though, to be fair. Get him. I'm the artillery. Go get him. You're supposed to keep him off me, Red. I'm, I'm your backup. I'm the wizard of the group. <laughs> I believe in you, Mr. Red. This is your invasion. You did all the work. Could have backstabbed him, silly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no, Officer Greg. Okay, I have someone to fight. I'll go fight Greg. Uh, what do we fight Greg with, boys? The serpent thing? Let's get a heal, because Greg will heal, heal us. Hey, Greg. Well, if you're going to blind him for me, I can't help but do this. <laughs> Come get me, Greg. Oh. Wow, that did no damage at all. Was that Greg? <laughs> Greg, you silly goose. Why does the other guy get sword fight, but I get river? I get the freaking stars of ruin spam. Why is that the treatment I get? <laughs> hey, are you done, Sir Dirt Squirt? Oh man. <laughs> are we good? Can I can I partake now? Okay. I did pull out the jar, you're not wrong. I was I was using a long range item. That's right. That's fair. Rivers of noob! <laughs> Rivers of blood. Oh no, he's got two HP. We don't mind if I had a boink. Oh wait, wait. Aim training, boink. Oh god. Oh come on, I hit that. That was such a good throw. Wow. Thank you. Oh, no, Red, I'll take care of the blue for you. No, I'm so sorry. There you go. I thought you had it. I would have partaken more if you needed me. <laughs> there will be blood. Indeed. I don't quite get the cliff. Jumping near it. Oh, right. <laughs> Fun fight, Ghosty. Oh, hello there. Hey. <laughs> you are motivated by revenge. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Mr. Red. I know, just trying it out, Ocean. Nothing specific, really. Seen a lot of people trying it out. Saw Prod try 140 on his build. I was like, you know what? Let's see how the invasions are on PC at 140. And they're they're good. They're good. They're just a little bit uh slower.
Ooh, instant here. I like this place actually. This place has potential. No, we haven't dual wielded at all today. Let's let's use the beast mans. Mix it up. <laughs> Her singing is also beautiful background music. Oh, well, I do have 125. Uh, I have a 138 Deo. I have a 140. Just trying it out, really. No particular reason. Chase the pot. <laughs> like the helm, the pot helm. Damn, we got one invasion here, but it failed. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Curve swords without seppuku? <laughs> Hey, they're still okay. They're okay. I'm not gonna call them great. They're okay. Oh, uh, well, you want max weapons once you hit above, like, honestly, like 110, 120. There you go. Are you missing the Elden Ring drift? You're on vacation, what? Go eat some food. Shrine of Amana. This, you know what, the music in that other area we were in? Actually, let's just go back there, see if I get one. Uh, in Ancestral Woods, kind of reminds me of the Shrine of Amana. Uh, for 90 bulls? I, I think uh, plus 7 somber and plus 17 regular is the best for 90, from what I've tried. Yo, Mason, thank you so much, man. How has your Elden Ring experience been? Well, it's more that a max weapon can invade down to like a plus 20 anyway, and most people by level like 1, 110, 120 are going to have a plus 20 weapon. You know what I mean? So you're not really missing out on anything. Same with like, I'm pretty sure a max somber plus 10 goes down to plus 8, and I had a plus 8 way before I was at level like 110, 120. Uh, better than the the bubble blowers in Landell. <laughs> could try there again though. We did get one invasion there. I think it's like there's like eight regular and then like or maybe ten regular and then eight somber. I forget. I still have to find a few. I only have five weapons maxed out. I think I have the greatsword, my claymore, my lance, these three, a stitcher. Um, it's four. What else? Oh, the Knight Rider thing. Those are all the regular ones I've upgraded. And then I have two of the somber ones. Use Rivers of Blood easy win. It is pretty strong. No one, no one's gonna deny that. Rivers of Blood is... Especially in like a team setting. Alone, it, it's still very strong obviously, but like I don't really have a problem fighting it alone anymore. It's when they're in like a team that it's difficult. Uh, yeah, Ma, for sure. I've just been playing with melee in the meantime when my faith build's not done yet. Do you know about the warped axe? Yeah, I've heard it's one of the better axes. I have to give it a try because axes have not been my favorite. Maybe it'll change my mind. Axes weren't the way for me. <laughs> Every weapon max. I mean, you can have a friend trade your weapons. Like, there's easy ways to do that. Uh, hey Chase, have you tried seen the Raptors of the Mist Colossal Sword tech? Uh, the animation makes you crouch immediately. Oh, so you can like surprise people with it. Yeah, I think I've seen people do that. <laughs> they like pretend they're doing it by crouching or they actually do it. That's funny. Definitely has potential. Ooh. Hosty, hosty, hosty. Thank you so much, Crime. Yeah, I haven't really tried it out yet. I definitely have to give that a shot hey, at some Chase. point. Have you seen the Raptor of the Mist Colossal Sword Tech? The animation there. makes you crouch so you can immediately do the crouch attack. Ooh. Part of the Ash of War animation Double until they hit you. I don't know if this is going to be worth it then with the double curved swords. Because O Flame scares me. And Catch Flame. Ha! I don't really know what that spell does. Okay, you're giving me a faith build showcase here. I haven't really seen many incant builds. Other than that, that I've seen. And that. <laughs> I might pull out a spear here. I can't aggress because those have hyper armor. <laughs> I got Or um something with range, I guess. 
There we go. This is fine. This will do. Rock throws are honestly the worst. This guy's whole build is FP flasks. I see that now. At a bonfire. Oh, and you're lagging, sir. Packet lost king up in here. Just saying in the future, if I put a stream sniper that has 15 Ashen Estus, I'm gonna heal on you. <laughs> Cause that's gonna end up being just constant casting. And that's how you, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, using constant FP, like people talk about that in duels, how FP flasks are kind of fair. But if you think of the magic in Elden Ring, if you're constantly using FP flasks, uh, there's lots of spells, Stars of Ruin, some of them that come out so quick, you, you can't dodge Stars of Ruin completely. So if you had 10 Ashen Estus, you could actually chip kill some guy by just constantly using your Ashen Estus. So I, in my opinion, it's fair game to heal. People are doing that in some honor fight. Plus, if you heal once, they're dead. They, they have no, I bet you they have no actual heals. <laughs> they would just be like, shit, I didn't come prepared for him to heal. <laughs> Someone, well, they get chipped though. Even when you dodge it properly, unless you use a Bloodhound step, maybe that can fully dodge it. But yeah, in my opinion, the way wizardry works in this, it's not. I mean, it's it's more powerful than Dark Souls 3's magic. I can totally see people healing in a fight when a wizard is constantly using FP flasks. Oh yeah, yeah, with with heals, right, Timbo? Yeah, with actual heals. That's what I'm saying. I meant like if you were having some like no heal battle and then the mage had like 10 FP flasks. They, they could kill you just off chip. Um, let's go back to the Magwin, or Mogwin dynasty. Oh, that was an accident. <laughs> Oh, can you crouch the rock throw? Interesting. I find it crazy how much poise damage those uh, rock throws do. They stun you out of anything. It's, uh, it's definitely strange. I wonder what the poise damage is. Stancing. I've done that in the past. Honestly, I find the fights more interesting not power stance, except for like spears, because honestly, spears alone have the worst running attack. It's so weird. They all have like a slash, most of them, instead of the thrust. Although, jump attacks with like dual wield weapons, very strong for sure. I just find the one weapon a little bit more versatile. I don't know, it's more interesting. It's 50 per rock throw? Ah, interesting. I've never seen its uh, poise damage amount. Ah, uh, there's no difference. I just I just use them quickly to cue the invasion because I think it makes it invade faster. But I don't know. Yeah, dual spears at least have the great running L1. Yeah, I don't know how to like aggress with dual great swords. They're more like jump. Fighting three v one, but that's kind of hard. I've been trying, Mateo. We tried the beginning of the snow area. We tried the castle soul area. I haven't tried by the avatar, but I don't really want to invade by the avatar. There's like two of them. <laughs> That's kind of vicious. Um, and then this is like near the boss, so. I've tried Halig Tree too. Halig Tree seems like it should be the best, but I don't know. 140 just might not be the best level. Maybe 150 or 120, or like the 138 is just better. 
First step. I did first step, man. It's just people uh, camping this. All I get from uh, first step is people AFK camping this building that I can't get on. Ever right thought a taunt your tongue run? When creating a new character, have two buddies viewers try to protect you from invader as you run boss to boss and collect items. As you are creating your new oh, team, like uh, I think fun. I've done something sort of similar in Dark Souls Three. I uh, have two buddy viewers to try to protect you. Yeah, am I am I like over encumbered in that scenario you're talking about, or just normal? That's something we did in Dark Souls Three. We did like an over encumbered run. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Hello there, Adjustus. Ooh, you dabble in rivers of blood. I dabble in. I don't know actually. Oh, that's not. <laughs> well, we're down in Estus, but it's okay. Hello there, rivers of blood user. Hello, brother. I poke you off my hill. Wait, what? Where'd the host go? Ah, it's okay. We can have a fight here, man. Wait. Summon? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I didn't see him fall. Address this. Come back. Pull out your weapon. You're too kind. I'm here for murder. And to be attacked. Aww. Why? <laughs> Why? Why would you be kind to me? I've invaded your world. Stabbed you with my pole arm. <sighs> yes. 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 Pull out the, pull out the rivers of blood. Yes. 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 <laughs> well, the game decided for me. <laughs> huh! You, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you jump scared the shit out of me with that. Blending in in the middle of the room. All obvious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that scared me. <laughs> that actually jump scared me, I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't see him there. I really did not. I swear. Uh, let's give this another go. Elden Ring is truly the best horror game. You're not wrong. I've been jump scared quite a lot in this game. Yeah, that phantom was kind of funny. I don't know why he didn't want to fight. Strange. Raphael, but yeah, definitely in the near future, I'm going to be doing a few uh, things with some of the other soul streamers. Prod and Lost, I think, want to do like some type of co-op playthrough first. So, that. Oh, I guess I, that makes sense, yeah. Fair. Fair, Raphael. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we plan to do that already, actually. So, whenever they're down to do that, maybe we'll make it like a weekly stream. Where we all get together. Do that. This way. I got spawned somewhere weird. Thank you, though, so much, man. Good ideas all around. Thank you. Hello. Hey, we fought before. Uh, but you, you, did we? Yeah, I think we did. Power within, or what is that thing called? I call it power within because TS3 brain. Oh, I think I queued it. Yep. <laughs> I already queued the roll. That was my own bad. Whoa. <laughs> that was fun though. I didn't expect that. Oh, I actually like that fight, man. I really wanted to put that one all the way out. Oh, well. See what I'm talking about with the, the Ash of War? If it catches you off guard and you cue the roll, you're getting hit by it. So that's what I was talking about. Why It might not be the best, but if you pull it out, out of nowhere, you can really pull it off. Kya. Big boy, Brucey. Come here, Brucey. <laughs> it's over, Brucey. 
It's over. <laughs> yeah, it can be funny, man. One who lives by the Horaloo dies by the Horaloo. Probably true. I was, you know what, hang on, wait a minute. We kill expected. If you're in chat, you don't know. You don't know a thing. Damn, he knows how to dodge it. <laughs> Me too, though. <laughs> Fun fight, man. I like that guy. <laughs> uh, he knew. <laughs> he knew. That was good, though. He knew the secret jump tech. He was prepared for it. His, I gotta admit though, his surprised me the first time. It was good. I wasn't ready for that yell. Uh, what about like, no one ever invades over here. This could be interesting. <laughs> I got that too. Yeah, we had a whole day where we were just going around using that. <laughs> it was funny. Made a video out of it. <laughs> it was that funny. Uh, so if you Google, oh man, I don't know, there's like a, a chart thing on Reddit that someone made that's it's really helpful. And it shows the balance between the regular and the somber. I forget what the balance between 9 is. I think 9 might be 22. I think you might be right. Actually, you know what? I can check it. I have it pinned in a conversation with, uh, yeah, that one. While I wait for an invasion here. So, uh, plus 9 somber, yeah, it evens out at 22 regular. Indeed it does. It, like, almost, excuse me, Murasui, almost sometimes it's odd. Like, you would think by the 2.5 method, right, that uh, 9 times 2.5 would be, like... 20 what 2.5 and round up to 23 i guess but it, it stays at 22 i don't know the rounding is different like different that's why i was confused you figured it would round up right carl yeah but it, it didn't i don't know in the chart it doesn't so i don't know maybe the chart could be wrong for all i know but uh yeah <laughs> oh it's melania i gotta fight you high fought melania the first time then <gasps> that oh you're doing a full melina cosplay so cool actually i know the weapon art can do pretty insane damage so i gotta give him that Kya. oh that's the melania movement right there i definitely agree <laughs> hmm, high latency did i not get hit by that second swing I'm confused here. You're already going into second form, Melania. That's not. It's too early. It's too early. <laughs> oh wait. Oh wait. Is it a mini boss? Am I fighting a real mini boss? Did it heal? I don't know. No. No. I think it's just a cosplay. A little lag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're good. I think. I take it back. That's a lot of lag. <laughs> He's like skipping through my attacks. Is my stream lagging, chat? This has to be them, right? <laughs> GG though. <laughs> Very fun fight. Minus the whatever that was. That was, that was pretty packet lossy. <laughs> Just what the fuck? Only ganks can beat Melania. True. That was a sick. That's a sick outfit though, and it's sick a build. Unfortunate that our connection was like that. That made it terrifying. Um, let's try Noxtella again. PS4? No, I'm on PC. 
This is the build, by the way. Dude, I, I do love it, Dallas. It's so good. Such a fun one. It's like, it's like the, I don't know, it's not like the Claymore, but... Ultras, like, did not get much love in DS3. I guess some did. The Lothric Knight Ultra was pretty good. Some of them got, like, a combo. Ah, yes. Now, the funny thing about the amount of strength I have isn't that I was aiming for that. I just, I only had so many stat points, I literally need this endurance amount to wield my, uh, Stitcher and my shield. I need 17 dex for the Stitcher. I need 12 faith for the faith great shield. And I want 60 vigor. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is exactly the amount of strength that I was allowed to get. I get it. Looks like a meme, but no, it wasn't. I just only had enough stat points for that. Hey, go there. Oh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> yeah, this one's pretty good, actually. It's a lot less stamina investment, too. Yeah, the Zwei is really good with the lightning infusement too. I haven't tried it keen. This is a good keen as well. Uh, I did it lightning last time I tried it. Sure, buddy. I swear, man. I swear, like, look, look, the setup right here. This is this is the max weight load I can have. Exactly like 69 point whatever percent. <laughs> I didn't need any more stat points in endurance. And then, yeah. Uh, not that I've had to use that yet, but I have it there in case I come across someone shield poking. Funny. Uh, yeah, I would definitely say 140 has less people than 80. Uh, less than 138 as well. So if you want to go between like 125 and 138, I'd say that that's safer for the bracket. 140 cuts you off from the 125 player base. Uh, one was what? Oh, yeah, yeah. I have a. Uh not all my weapons are max upgraded because I don't have enough of the stones. I need more of the ancient dragon ones. All maxed out. No, mine aren't sadly. <laughs> Eventually they will be, but uh, these are 24, 24, 24, 24, 24. Actually most of mine aren't maxed out. I only have a few that are, like 5. Can 80 match with 90? Yeah, yeah. Just learned recently that the Sanguine normal, Noble Robe crashes your game. Does it? That's a glitch. That's an issue. How do you use your character if you've equipped it though, if it crashes it all the time? <laughs> Hello there, Psychic. How are you, man? Do it. Let's get our buff going. Yeah. Yeah. Claymore fights! Ah, uh, not that I'll get that backstab, but that'd be fucking cool. Now I'm like wondering, is it me or maybe it's the servers? Because there was no lag at all. And now it's, it's two people in a row with very, very like uh, packet lossy connections. I got an R2 off there. <laughs> oh God. Like, is my stream lagging chat? Maybe not. I don't know. It, it, it's just very strange. So much so that that should combo, but it didn't. Stream is fine? Okay. Hmm. I don't know then. Could be the... I don't know. That was a good roll. Very good. Oh, I don't have any regen. This flask consists of it. Oh. Oh. Why is it like that? I wonder if I look perfect to him. Because, like, he seems to be reacting to my attacks pretty well, so I don't think I'm skipping around to him. But for me, he's definitely skipping. As you can see. And our, like, latency is god awful. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even stun him. <laughs> Jesus. We 
Where's the... Where'd the second one go? <laughs> Woo. <laughs> this feels like a Dark Souls 3 fight entirely. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't think that would hit me. Hey, where's my heal? I have the, the drink thing on right now, right? Oh jeez, that was like a frame one hour two. Hmm. Oh, there's my heal. I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't think I can whiff punish him at all. Our connection is not good enough. It's the most terrifying one. Is he... Okay, you know, I'm going to have to pull out something else here for you, buddy. I can't hit you with the claymore, man. Too laggy. Which makes this dangerous. I'm sorry. I'd love to honor your claymore fights. I can't though. I don't know how to deal with your packet loss. You skip around too much. Oof. Okay, fuck this. I'm just healing this. You can heal too, man. That's the worst connection I've seen. We will not lose to lag in this house. Nice combo. Thank you. Oh my god, that connection's so bad, man. What fun fight. I don't know how to deal with the packet loss and the latency at the same time. It's crazy. <laughs> I love when someone comes in the chat and says I'm blaming lag. Like, did you see? Did you watch the fight? <laughs> did you really watch the fight? Because if you did, there's no way you would say I'm using that as an excuse. There's like absolutely no way. Like... He's, he's skipping around the whole fight, man. Like, I hope you're joking. <laughs> uh, yo, thank you so much, though, Butchin. If I fight him again, we'll try again. Like, nothing against him. It's not his fault his internet's bad, but it is very bad. And he, is, he was having packet loss the whole time. So, I don't know. Yeah, he's great. It's just I can't whiff punish or fight anything when he's not taking hits. Uh, okay. We did the bigger check earlier. Yeah, like he was skipping throughout the whole fight, man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's great. That would have been a much better fight if the connection wasn't terrible, but that was very evident. I don't blame lag if it's not like a thing there. I wouldn't ever say that unless it's obvious. Final exam. <laughs> I thought his name was Vigor Check. Shit, sorry. Maybe we'll find him again. I actually want to see if we can get a good fight with the other guy. But not have it be laggy. Probably not, though. Hello there, Drake. Hello. Hello there, brother. Yeah, I mean, I landed a couple attacks that did zero damage to him, but like, every time he hits me, it's perfect. Like, sometimes it's just packet loss on the download side, and it benefits the player. Oop, actually, wait, I forgot my buff. Why can't I lock on? Okay, there we go. Oop. No, it's not about winning or losing. It's just that that was a bad connection. Oh my god! Why was that a thousand damage? Jeez. 
That's so damaging. Fun fight, Drake. <laughs> That's crazy. Refers to him. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Uh, I have the mirror on that makes it so I have the uh, host color. Did he have the source heal on? That would make a lot of sense. Poor guy. Is that a counter hit? Might have been a counter hit, yeah. Might have been a counter hit. Uh, I don't know how much vigor he had, actually. Oh. <laughs> Upgrade the lag strat. Yeah, you, when you have the perfect connection. It's nice for some things, obviously, but yeah. How many death roots uh, do you need for bestial vitality? It's one of the first ones you get. Um, I don't know exactly. I don't remember exactly. I think source heal might be worth it for some of the lower levels. Yeah. I wouldn't say above like... I don't even use it on my level 80 build sometimes. Hello there, UVO. What's up, man? Hello. What? Why did that not... Oh, it's just a buff? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's gotta be the server. It's gotta be. Or something. This is like almost every solo I'm seeing right now is like lagging. Are we good? Like, look. <laughs> you still want to say I use lag as an excuse? <laughs> no, man. Like, it's been a problem the past like five invasions. What one was that? <laughs> I'll get that in a day or two. <laughs> uh, it's it's coming by mail, boys. It'll get there eventually. <laughs> Hang on, there's three hits unaccounted for right now. That's all of them. That she should die. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Honestly, my connections for the most part, I must say, have been very, very good. But the last uh, three, well, that one dude with the. Uh, with the Drake's outfit or whatever he was going for. He did not have bad, he didn't have a bad connection to me. The, the one before that and that guy. That guy was a whole different level though. The other guy was bad. He was more skippy. That guy was like on Mars. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> but all right, imagine using lag as an excuse. Just deal with it. <laughs> just, just get better. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Got that Mars internet. That's crazy. That one was nuts. I haven't seen that one. Like anything that bad in a while. Hello, Flatback. Hello. Shall we do it? I, I know, I know you guys are joking, obviously. I don't think anybody would see that and be serious. <laughs> I don't think anyone on the planet would see that and say that. All right there, buddy. Come on, Flapjack. Let's do it. Oh, I tried to... Oh, that'd be such a good attack. I really want to... Uh, I want to pivot backstab, but it's not going to work, sadly. Scream! 
Scream with curve swords. Ooh, ultra. I've been using the lance kind of a lot, to be honest. Let's go with ultra versus ultra. Oh, that's the thing you guys are talking about. <laughs> Very good mix-ups though with that. I see the potential. I see the potential. Is he a bleed build? He might be. Spacing. Raptor is kind of. I don't see it much. Look at them. Those things have like no poison build up. I don't even know what they are or infused with. That's a great roll catch, honestly. I have to give that to him. 100%. Yeah, see, there's, there's the server. <laughs> I think it's just getting bad right now. Yo, Gunner, thank you so much, though, man. We'll do a few more. I don't know. Seems like... Yeah, we fought uh, Flatback a while ago, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be the server now. That's, like, too many in a row. But there's no real server. I know. I love how we all say that. It's got to be the server. But, like, it's all peer-to-peer -peer connection. <laughs> but, like, for some reason, the past couple have been very bad. Yeah, thank you guys. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, I saw that with the, the Raptors of the Mist. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Oops. Unfortunate. Lagged in ring. Honestly, the, like I haven't had bad connections ever. These are like some of the worst. Okay, we'll go for a, a few more maybe. See, depending on how good the connection is. Um, jump. Yeah, we can jump that. We jump. We jump. Oh, hello, boys. Hello. Me as well. Wow. No honor for my buff. <laughs> as if I got out of that. That's funny. I let you buff. Rude. Rude and inconsiderate. Hey. Wizard. <laughs> Hit them both at once with one R1. Pretty good. Ooh, a Moonlight Greatsword. <laughs> He's there to back you up, huh? I see. <laughs> Almost got him on the second panic roll. That doesn't do any poise damage, so it's honestly not that big of a threat unless that other guy's there with him. That's when it gets hard. Whoa. Um. Okay. Little noggies. This thing's bleed and explode though. Oh, but not with Bloodhound Step. Okay, that's that's not what I was expecting to be honest. I 
roll the frostbite. <laughs> nice. Hello. Okay, no, we need the ultra. It hits hard enough that I'm not too worried about the spear. We're a little frostbite still. Whoop. Um, okay. I guess we pull out our double spears. We haven't had to do that today, really. Oh, God. <laughs> the camping. You're going to sit there and use your pebble, right? Yeah. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. is gone. Nice. Put down another. Oh, he did put down another. Oh my god. I'm cannoning this guy. It's the most annoying thing I've seen. Yeah, come get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get out of the heal. That's perfect. That works perfectly. <laughs> you know what? I have warming stones too. I could do that too, man. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. This is the madness one. It does heal me though, right? Oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> they must be madness builds. Rough. Wait, no. This is just a regular warming stone. I have a warming stone too. Okay. Guess we'll play this game. Here. I have one of them too. Oh wait. I need FP. Okay. <laughs> That's the wrong one, boys. <laughs> Peak. Elden Ring content. You're here for it. Hey. Hey, I have one of them up here. Yeah, look, I'm healing too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I have one also. A lot of FP use. Jesus. Even if FP to just do that forever? Overlevel phantoms, man. What the fuck? <laughs> That's incredible. That's actually crazy. How? He didn't like drink one FP flask and he fired like 18 of those. That's, That's crazy actually. Yeah, I have those two. I'll use them if they're gonna use them. Oh, he's not using Starlight Shards. You can see the blue aura. Oh, he is using Starlight Shards. Wow. Wow, you're a baby. You're an ultra baby. Why don't you come fight me then? Since you got health, right? Yeah. Jesus. That's so... Oh my god. This is the one problem I knew was going to arise in Elden Ring one day. Duped Starlight Shards. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one. I 
if they progress to where they're distracted, I could definitely kill the spear guy. He's not a huge issue. It's just that they can just like camp back and get all their health back anytime. That's the main problem. Wait. Although unless they kill this thing, I'm kind of like stuck here. Yeah, well they just like, yeah, basically. Where'd they even go? Oh. At least we have enemies to cheese with if they're gonna cheese like that. Something. Oh, they're so lucky. Unbelievably lucky he somehow didn't die to my second spear strike. along here if only this guy was alone with me I don't even care if he's level like 400 or whatever it'd be so easy to kill him oh how did that hit me dude what in the hell hmm I use my warming stone. <laughs> this is crazy. They have unlimited heals essentially with their with their wizard teammate. Um I gotta think of a way to output high damage, but the cliffs there. Unfortunate. <laughs> I'm trying my best, Josiah, man. I'm trying. They're cheesing so hard. It's actually impressive that someone's actually doing this right now. Who even keeps 10 of those and is ready to cheese at every given moment? Maybe he's out of warming stones, though. I am officially paying you to be as mean as possible. That to could these be the case. As toxic as you can be, just out of spite, strike them down. The answer is no. They still have warming stones. Jeez, man, that's actually incredible. And his frostbite buildup is insane. How is he alive? That's impossible. He had like 2 HP or less, I guess. Ah, uh, shit. If I had a bomb right now? Oh, I do have urns. Can't get too greedy here, though. I got his healed in some way. I don't know what he used, though. Oh, you know what? You want to cheese, motherfucker? Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I heard him do that, actually. Oh, he's not smart enough for that. He's 
still healing though right now somehow. Yeah, you can't camp in the back forever. Yeah, you know what I got too? Ah, yeah, now I'm you. You like it? You enjoying this? You enjoying? This guy keeps living with like 2 HP. It's impressive. Yeah, you like cheese? I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of the cheese. I don't need to kill the phantom if this guy dies. Yeah, you missed. You missed. Shit. <laughs> Jesus, man. Hey, I'm coming, dude. I'm coming. I got your number now. You're alone. Wait, where's your teammate, actually? Hold up. Yeah, father? Yeah? 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 Yeah, quit out? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I fucking thought. That's what I thought. Hypocrites. No, I just do what they fucking do. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna look for one more final invasion, though. You want to cheese with warming stone and starlight shards? I'll do it right back to you. I'll just do it better. <laughs> All right. Regular invasion. And of course they quit out because they literally can't handle losing. <laughs> Ultra babies, bro. Ultra babies. <laughs> oh man. Hey, that's always the power people have, man. That's eventually gonna be the invasions if they don't fix that shit. I called that from day one. Alright, boys. Respectable builds in here. This looks normal. Oh no, you don't have HP though. Oh no. Oh god. I gotta learn to roll through this. Hey, my man. Wow. Dodge! <laughs> That's actually a really cool action work. It just doesn't... I don't know, the tracking isn't the best? Oh! Hey! <laughs> okay. I guess we'll end it there. That, dra that last invasion drained me, boys. That drained me. <laughs> Thank you, Carlo. Thank you. I drained the hell out of me. <laughs> Here is the build for the day. If you want to try it out for yourself. I do recommend going to 138 though. Uh, you get more invasions overall. Because you end up invading people that are 125. While also hitting the 150 or whatever upward level you want to hit. Um, let's go give a raid to somebody. Um, Who is playing the Elden Ring? Also Ryan. Thank you so much man. Thank you so much, dude. That was actually a fun time, though.
Very fun invasion stream. Uh, the only person I see playing Elden Ring is Saint Riot. Is he invading? I think he is invading as a poise wizard. Oh god. <laughs> if you guys want to watch some more invasions, go check out Mr. Saint Riot. Really chill dude. Doing poise wizard invasions. I'm actually going to chill there while I grab some snacks. You get some rest, boys. I'll see you. Good night, all. Good night. See you later. Goodbye. Goodbye.